Everything in readiness now for the start of the Escort Cup for 1980. And good evening to Bob Skilton. Good evening, Lou. Should be a great game, Bobby. There she goes, the bow. Down it comes towards Dempsey. Herbert gets it to his way. He missed it. Picked up by Jarrett. And North Melbourne going to attack now towards their half forward line. Blight coming out. He's grabbed by Stewart. A hand pass coming back to Pickett. He was grabbed, but uh, a free kick to Billy Pickett. And he goes on. It's another, it's a good hand pass. Yes, out to Moore. And the blonde Collingwood Ruckman's away like a shot. And the ball driven up there by Ireland over Collingwood's half forward line. Edwards in front. Couldn't hold the mark. Simmerbush going after it. Burns right on his back. Simmerbush kicks it off the ground. Back it comes to Dacos. Finally, Burn picks it up out there on that wing position. Plenty of pressure on here. And a big crowd, a good mark. A good mark there to Hanabry in front of Greg. Hanabry boots the ball back there towards the forward pocket. Players coming across there now. Punched away again by Sutton. Banks going after it. Ramsey beats him to the ball. Gets a quick kick out there towards the wing position. Going over the line now with Smith and the ball is out of bounds on that centre wing position. As I said before, round about the 40,000 mark and could possibly get up to 50,000 people. And Bobbitt looks really set for a great game now tonight. Well, an electrifying atmosphere so far, Lou, as Moore gets up high. Dip, beaten for the knock, though, by Dempsey. Diving in underneath there, we see Herbert. He couldn't win possession of the ball, and the free kick will possibly be played. Now it's called play on. We see Herbert heavily met, but uh, call it again, and Keith Gregg comes out with possession. Gregg now, one way then the other, then screws the ball back. In front there is Pickin, couldn't quite hold the mark. It's snatched out of his hands by Dacos. He gets around Tanner. Dacos now straightens up and puts the long kick down towards the half-forward position. No mark taken. It's grabbed by Glenn Denning. Under pressure from Weirmouth. The hand pass over the top to Henshaw. Henshaw gets him out of the danger zone. Finds Huppets. Huppets will give the hand pass on there to Wilson. North going forward, but Wilson spills it. Gets a hand pass back now to Shibblebush. And Shibblebush with a long kick. Right down to the forward zone. Good at the back with Blight. It's over the back. Blight's not there, though. Magro overruns the ball. McCormick trying to tap the ball clear for Collingwood. There's a pack forming, but it's allowed to play on as we see it. Blight come out with it, line it up, and it puts it right through the centre. First goal to North Melbourne from the boot of Malcolm Blight. Great goal, Bobby, and a pressure one by Blight. So at the, uh, let's see, at the, the time of this first quarter, at the two-minute mark, and there's the replay as we see uh, McCormick go down and Blight gets it out, but then it finally uh, smothered that time, and Blight took it actually away from the Collingwood guy and put it through for their first goal. So at the two-minute mark, North Melbourne first to score. One goal, six points to Collingwood get the score. Umpire Bill Della, Peter Moore, Gary Dempsey. Daw Moore making a far bigger run at the ball than Dempsey. About twice the distance away from the centre circle that Dempsey is. The bounce goes straight towards Dempsey. The Jarrett off outmanoeuvred, uh, not Jarrett Herbert it was, and now taken by Byrne. Byrne puts a high kick out towards the half forward flank. Smith leads in the race with the ball, with the ball, bounce of the ball favours Greg. Greg now screws it down towards the half forward line. It's over the head there of Stewart that favours Blight. Blight will try and get through the tackle, give a hand pass up towards Shane Bond, but it goes over the boundary line, and we'll see a throw in take place in the forward pocket. Picking there, appealing for a free kick after his former teammate. Bond ran into him. Out of bounds about 25 to 30 metres around from the North Melbourne goal. There, one goal, six points to Collingwood yet to score. Just on the three-minute mark of the first quarter of the Escort Cup Grand Final of 1980. Out to Malcolm Blight again. Hanabry's there. He can't pick it up. Down goes Hanabry. They pile in there, and the umpire's going to ball it up out there towards North Melbourne's half-forward line, about uh, 45 to 50 metres out from their goal. By golly, what a night this is for football, too, and uh, the public really loving every moment of it. Knocked out again by North Melbourne. Coming back here to Shaw, a hand pass. That's Ray Shaw over to Magro. Magro at half back, boots the ball back there towards the wing position. Dempsey in the way there as the ball is forced out. And uh, another stack up, but finally Wearmouth gets a hand pass. It's a good one. And uh, going around the pack there uh, for North Melbourne, uh, for Collingwood is Shaw. The ball right up there towards Kink. He's going after the mark. He dropped it. Couldn't pick it up. He still butters up. He tries to get through the pack. Umpire call play on a chance now for Collingwood to break clear as we see Brewer throw the ball away. Picked up by Henshaw. The ball driven out wide towards that half back line. Plenty of pressure on as Wilson goes after it now. Dodges burn. Goes for a short pass out here towards Huppets. And Huppets takes the uh, pass out there on that wing position over to Breiders. North Melbourne looking better at the moment as we see McCann take a mark right on that centre wing position. Booted across the centre half forward now. Up go the pack. Calling with defenders using sprawling tactics. Morris went into trouble. Umpire said he'll be dropping the ball against him. Dropping the ball against him. The free kick to go to Good. And Good would be about, let's see, 
No more than about 35 metres out from goal on a very slight angle. I've never seen a crowd like this before tonight. Football match, I'll tell you, it's tremendous. There's the kick by Good, but he's off target, and it's through for one point. So, at the uh, five-minute mark, it's North Melbourne. One goal, one seven points. The Collingwood still yet to score, but North Melbourne would be kicking with the aid of a breeze, Bob. Well, I think that most of the breeze has dropped in the schoolboys game. They uh, did uh, have the scoring at both ends of the ground right throughout the night. A beautiful kick now by Craig Stewart. Up high in the front of the pack, we saw Pickin trying to force the ball forward, though, for North Melbourne was Jarrett. He got the ball out. Herbert comes across for Collingwood. It's playing well so far in his first full game for the Woods. And Henshaw should possibly get the free kick as William Alf was holding him as the ball was in the air. And that's exactly the way umpire Bill Dallas sees it. Ross Henshaw to take the free kick on centre wing. Centre wing, member side of the ground. Henshaw directs it towards centre half forward, looking for McCann. But over the top of McCann comes Peter Moore. No, because uh, McCann was in the front position. It's been paid with the front man, so Peter Moore has the ball taken away from him. And Stephen McCann now at centre half forward. Moore running down the ground, never arguing, just giving the ball back. And it's McCann with a beautiful kick as far as the length is concerned. But it's offline and it's punched through for another point to North Melbourne. So they go to one, two, eight points with Collingwood yet to score. We watch on video disc replay as uh, in the front position. Uh, well, for mine, it was a mark to Peter Moore, but that's not the way umpire Bill Dallas sees it, and that's the benefit of being in front. Ball back into play now. Out there towards Collingwood's half back line. McCann Edwards flew high that time, couldn't hold the mark. Shimmerbush finally gets it out there, and the ball kicked up by Glenn Denny, and it's a mark there to Tanner. Well, we got one there from Shaw, but it was an accident. Umpire Bill Dallas agreed, and a chance now for uh, North Melbourne to get their second goal. North Melbourne mean business tonight, as I said before at the opening. Barassi said he wanted another crack at Collingwood. They've beaten them their last three starts, the Magpies. Let's wait for uh, Tanner. Going for goal number two for North Melbourne. This will be Tanner's first if he's successful. And he is. No one point. I think it just must have hit the post that time. So, no goal. So it's one goal, three nine points to North Melbourne to Collingwood yet to score at the seven minute mark of this first quarter. The Escort Cup Grand Final of 1980 coming to you live through Channel 7. We certainly hope that you're enjoying this right throughout Australia. Ball coming off the pack, a chance for Burn to break clear. He does the ball right out there towards that wing position. Shaw got on the back of Ramsey. Shaw and Ramsey both go down. It's Ramsey first to recover. Oh, Wim out. Went for a kick off the ground. A hand pass from Shaw. Over to Boone. It's too long there for Edwards. Coming through this time uh, for North Melbourne is Smith. Smith drives the ball across the centre half forward. Well punched out by Allen. Morris trying to get clear. In chips Jarrett there. Showing a lot of aggression. This will be holding the ball against North Melbourne. The umpire called play on us. It's kicked off the ground. And a good uh, kick off the ground up there towards Shaw. He goes down. Tries to get it out the banks. But North Melbourne going in pretty hard. But the umpire's found a free kick. It'll go to Banks. I think it will be against uh, Henshaw. Banks staggering a little bit. Looks in a bit of trouble, Lou. Yeah, looks in a bit of trouble, Bob. Uh, not too good. A hand pass to Tony Shaw. The ball back there towards uh, Dempsey. Dempsey's on his own. And he's got the mark down there towards the back pocket. Pizzard. Banks is still down. Looks as though it could be his knee. That would be a tragic blow to Collingwood. Very much so, Lou. As it's now picked up by Blight. Blight drives the ball over the centre wing position. On the half forward line. The fist of Andrew Ireland gets it down. Knocked back by Tanner. Taken by Pickin. But it well smothered there by Schimmelbush. Ireland gets a quick hand pass over across the burn. And Collingwood going forward again. It's kink in position. But it's over his head. A good mark by Dempsey. He wastes no time at all in playing on and driving a long kick towards centre half forward but a timely mark by Stewart as we see Banks coming off the ground straight off on the interchange system with Craig Davis going on for Collingwood back now with the play live out there on the half forward flank punched away though by Wilson but a free kick has been paid the way of North Melbourne and I think it'll be Glenn Denning to take the kick Ross Glenn Denning out on centre wing at the moment he's the centre half back so Glenn Denning having the kick against Edwards Centre half forward, it goes towards McCann in the back. Pickin brought the ball down, and has, has, McCann has been penalised because he was over the shoulder of Bill Pickin. So Bill Pickin, Collingwood centre half back, will take the free kick in that position. Running on Pickin to drive the ball back there towards centre half forward. Players position themselves. Edwards couldn't hold that, picked up by Tony Shaw. He's grabbed it's a hurried kick towards Byrne and Schimmelbush. Schimmelbush going for the spoil there. Out it comes to Ronnie Wearmouth, showing a lot of dash. He dodges a hand pass back to Byrne. Burns off the side of his boot that time. Down towards that half-forward line. Punched away by Greg. 
A chance now for uh, Wilson to drive the ball back towards centre half, forward and a mark there to uh, Moore at the centre half back position for Collingwood. Collingwood not uh, getting over that centre half forward position. The ball comes out now to Stewart. A left footer out wide. A chance now for Collingwood to get the ball. It's Toomey going out. No, it's not. It's Herbert, I should say. Herbert goes for a short pass, looking for Kink. He's in front. He dropped it. It went between his arms that time. Picked up here by Davis. And Davis plays on a snap for goal. It's a long shot up towards Brewer there in the front position. But Sutton gets his hands to it. And it's uh, Collingwood's uh, first point on the board. So Collingwood go to one point. The North Melbourne won three nine points at the ten-minute mark of this first quarter. Short pass out from full back, effective because Ray Huppert had made position out in the back pocket. Goes on with another short pass. Keith Gregg all on his own. North Melbourne creating the loose man as Gregg comes around from the half back line. Drives it up towards centre wing, but it's this time Collingwood in the van. It comes off the hands of Pickin, picked up by Morris. He has time to steady and go for the long kick towards centre half forward. Up high from behind as Blight spoiled his own teammate though on that occasion, but he's well backed up by Schimmelbush. The left foot of Schimmelbush puts it in towards the centre of the ground. Up high was Jarrett, couldn't take the mark. Punched out now towards Ireland. He leads in the race for the ball. Can't trap it cleanly the first time, but has superior pace and now puts it back towards centre half forward again. Collingwood looking for Edwards at every opportunity, but he's being uh, well held at this stage. But a free kick is going the way of Collingwood, and it'll be little Tony Shaw to take the kick about 69 metres out from goal. Shaw, the left foot kick, looking for Renee Kink. The taller Dempsey brings the ball down to ground. Blight gets a short kick back towards centre half forward. A diving effort by Tony Shaw finds him with a kick 20 metres closer to goal. He's about 50 metres away from the Collingwood goal. Well, Collingwood badly needing a goal at the moment. As Shaw comes in, Tony Shaw doesn't quite make the distance. Dempsey getting the position. There's Kink flying over the back of the pack, but it's through for another point to Collingwood. Collingwood can't get that first goal on the board. One goal, three nine points, uh, North Melbourne to Collingwood, two points at the 11-minute mark of this first quarter. And, of course, the first two quarters are only 20 minutes. Ball coming out now. We see uh, Sutton have a bit of a run out there looking for Keith Gregg. It's a long one. Keith Gregg's got the drop here. Couldn't pick it up. Morris comes in. Gregg trying to back out of the back. He's grabbed down by a good play on. The ball driven across there by North Melbourne across towards their half forward line. There's McCann beating uh, Pickham this time. Gets away. He's got to straighten up now and fires to the goals. It's a long shot. What's the result? One point. So North Melbourne not hitting the target too well at the moment. One goal for ten points. But Collingwood two points only at the 12 minute mark of this first quarter. The ball back in the play again. More coming across. Dempsey at the back goes for the spoiling tactics. Down it comes again. Collingwood breaking clears. We see the ball driven up there by Hanabry. Back towards centre half back. Ball pushed to the ground. Has a chance for Byrne. Schimmelbush right on his tail. A good hand pass to win a bit of spray, as a matter of fact. Magro having a bit of trouble getting it up. Finally, Bond's right on his back there, but Magro showed a lot of determination. Back it goes to Herbert. A hurried kick down there towards the half forward line. Ramsey and, two, uh, and uh, Shaw going out, but Ramsey shows better judgment, takes the mark at half back. Tony Shaw coming right up the ground there. Ramsey now on the half back line. Goes for the short pass, but it just misses Smith. Goes over the boundary line, not on the full, so we'll see a boundary throw-in take place. Centre wing member's side of the ground. Ten points North Melbourne, two points Collingwood. We're 13 minutes into the first term of this Escort Championship. Pretty fast game, Bob. Very much so, uh, Lou. I think Collingwood have steadied a little bit now after the initial onslaught of Collingwood, but as Byrne now screws the kick down the ground, Ramsey in the front position again takes a timely mark. Tony Shaw, I think, Lou, too far up the ground for Rover because his job is in the forward pocket. That's right. Ramsey towards centre wing. More up from behind. It's almost worth a kick, that punch, but it beats everybody to the boundary line. Dead centre wing, so we'll see a throw in still on the member side of the ground. Both sides desperate, of course, to win this game, and with this mammoth crowd, the atmosphere absolutely electric. Dempsey wins a knock. Schimmelbush almost took it. Gets a short kick. It's intercepted by Ray Shaw. And from centre wing, Shaw goes for the long kick towards centre half forward. It's over the head there. Hog Smith and his opposite number 19, Craig Davis, who came on the ground in place of Banks, takes the mark at centre half forward. Craig Davis. Beautiful kick as far as distance is concerned. Not quite long enough. No mark taken. Desperate defence, though, by Sutton. Punches the ball over the boundary line. And we'll see a boundary throw in this time in the forward pocket for Collingwood. Ten points to two still. 14 minutes have gone. Waiting for the ball to come back into play. It's about 30 metres around from the Collingwood goal. Brewer in front. Dempsey at the back. Dempsey gets the tap down, but this time it goes back towards Collingwood's goal. It's only about 20 metres around now. This crowd's built up tremendously. I reckon it's near enough to 50,000 people, Bob. 
Very hard to judge. <laughs> it's the first time we've seen a crowd like this of a night. Certainly a big crowd, and they're on their toes. The ball comes to Henshaw, grabbed by Herbert there. The umpire said, what is it? Uh, it'll be out of bounds. Out of bounds again. Still about 20 metres around from the Collingwood goal. They're yet to score one. They're two points. For North Melbourne, one goal for 10 points. 15 minutes gone of this first quarter. Knocked out by Dempsey again. Back it comes to Shaw. He's pushed in the back, and the umpire has grabbed when he wasn't uh, near the ball, actually, and uh, the umpire's paying a free kick to the Collingwood skipper down there on the boundary line. A very difficult shot, but at least he's on the right side for a right footer. Played a very good game uh, Saturday against uh, Essendon. Uh, tell me, there's the distance. So it's only about 35 to 40 metres out. Shot. Across the face of goals. Kick at the back goes for the punch. And the ball is through for another point. So Collingwood three points on the board. No goals. For North Melbourne, one goal for ten points at the 15 and a half minute mark of this first quarter. Ball coming back into play. Edwards got his hands but couldn't hold the mark. Down it comes here again. Short trying to get it out but he won't give up and the umpire's going to ball it up about 50 metres uh, out from Collingwood's goal on, out towards their half forward line. That's the first long kick that Sutton has put out. He's played on from full back on the previous occasions. And interesting that he looked for Glenn Denning then rather than Dempsey who was with Moore. Free kick going the way of Peter Moore. He doesn't wait for the free kick though. He plays on like the wonderful athlete he is. Kink in the front position. Couldn't take the mark. It's grabbed by Craig Davis. He screws it towards goal but he's offline. And one more point goes on the board to Collingwood. Well, Bob, uh, they're uh, looking a lot better now, uh, Collingwood. Uh, they've settled down a bit. I think they've settled down, uh, Lou, and uh, we would like to uh, say hello to uh, viewers interstate, uh, ADS Adelaide and uh, Albury and others. And this is, so far is looming as a wonderful game. Both sides very even as far as general play is concerned. Five shots to North Melbourne, four shots to Collingwood. Seventeen minutes gone of the first quarter, the Escort Cup of 1980, the grand final. One goal for ten points, North Melbourne to Collingwood, four points only. Goals hard to come by at the moment. One only on the board as Brewer gets the knockout. Goes towards Renee Kinky, traps the ball beautifully. Comes back, gets a handball towards Edwards. It didn't quite reach Edwards though, and Glenn Denning picks it up. Gets a quick kick, it's over the boundary on the full low. So we'll see a free kick taken down there for Collingwood. It'll be Ray Byrne to take the kick on the half forward flank. Burn, a last minute replacement in the side, playing on the wing in place of Carlson. Long kick from Byrne. Punched away by the North Melbourne defence, they're making no attempts to go for the mark down there, making sure that Edwards, Kink and Co. do not get the opportunity of taking uncontested marks. Boundary throw in, right alongside the behind post. Dempsey and Brewer to compete for the knockout. Dempsey wins out with the extra height, grabbed by Bond. He hooks the ball back over the shoulder. Schimmelbush comes out, beats his opponent for it, gives a hand pass back to Bond. Bond gets it on to Henshaw. Henshaw gives it across, misses his teammate in Wilson. Wilson still over the top of the ball. Pickin comes in, and uh, it should be a free kick to Pickin. It might be called a uh, centre bounce or ball up. Pickin grabbed over the shoulder there as Henshaw came in, but umpire Ian Robinson adjudicating that he'll come in and bounce the ball. A ball up about 60 metres out from Collingwood's goal, out towards their half-forward flank position. Moore and Dempsey going for this one. Actually, Moore got that out to Jarrett. Not a very good kick back towards the centre of the ground. Knocked away by Tanner. As a go, it bounced right for McBone. A long kick over centre half-forward. There's Dempsey on his own. Oh, Herbert got up high, spoil him at least. Picked up by Glenn Denning. The ball back towards... Uh, the centre of the ground, Huppert smothers it well, he butters up for the second time to pick it up, Wearmouth's there, just about kicking in danger, but the umpire said OK as Pickin drives it back towards Dempsey's long arms, couldn't quite juggle that one, finally it's picked up by Ick, Ick goes for a short pass out towards the wing position, Garrett there, punched away by Andrew Arlen, over it goes to Tony Shaw, out there on that wing position, decides to go for his second bounce, he'll try and boot it up there towards uh, uh, Kink and Edwards. And Brewer's there at the back. Finally staying at the back of the pack uh, was Sutton. Cleared the ball away nicely. Back towards the centre of the ground. McCann there on his own and takes an easy mark at centre field. 19 minutes gone of this uh, first quarter and Collingwood yet to score a goal. Oh, there's Good. What a mark. What a beautiful mark by Good. He's only about 30 metres out from goal on a very slight angle. Watch this mark in uh, replay again. He got a beautiful sit over the top of him. Magnificent mark. Well, a chance now for Good to kick. Uh... He's actually kicked it while well, it was on uh, replay. Was he? He's gone through <laughs> for one point. Okay. 
Well, you can miss them sometimes. The ball back there into play again. Knocked out by Moore. Magro trying to get through the pack, and he shows a lot of guts that time. There's the siren for the end of the quarter, and we see uh, North Melbourne one goal, five, 11 points to Collingwood, four points only. Well, that's bad luck for Young Banks and, of course, for Collingwood, particularly here tonight. This is going to be a ding-dong struggle as it is now. Collingwood yet to score a goal. North Melbourne, one goal, five to Collingwood, four points. Knocked out by Dempsey, a good knockdown, but Tanner couldn't pick it up. And there's uh, Dacos, uh, blonde tips and all, sending the ball back there towards Kink, but uh, we see Ick uh, outmanoeuvring that time to take the mark a little shorter set of half back. Kink certainly having a bad trot at the moment. Out it goes wide to Huppets. Probably the oldest player on the ground. A good pass, a beautiful pass, an experienced pass from Huppets out there to uh, Schimmelbush, out there at half back for North Melbourne. And the North Melbourne skipper gets the ball wide. Ireland at the back goes for the punt. Spoiling tactics. That's the name of the game for the defenders on both sides tonight. And the ball is out of bounds on the centre wing position. Well, I said it before. I've never seen a crowd here for a night game in my life like it is tonight. Ball coming down to Moore. Shows a lot of pace. And when he goes, that big fella certainly moves across the ground. Hick, the 2 not 36 is knocked away by Hick again. A hand pass coming back that time to uh, Ick. Another one, a beautiful bit of play on the part of North Melbourne. Over to uh, Keith Gregg. And he's streaking away from his opponent, Hanabry. Running around in circles a bit now. He better get rid of it. He does. Drives the ball up there towards the full forward zone. But there's a good mark to Collingwood down there. And it's Magro. Little Stan Magro taking the mark. Quickly plays on because he can see Herbert out there on his own. Herbert out there on the halfback flank. Got a paddock to run in here as he comes around the member side of the ground. Boots it down towards Glenn Denning and Edwards. And uh, Glenn Denning puts him out of position and he takes the mark at half back for North Melbourne. Alan Edwards uh, appealing for a free kick because Glenn Denning just stood his ground and Robinson nodding, nodding their head saying no, he didn't think it was a free kick. Called play on as Bond was playing on and it'll be against the Bond as umpire Bill Duller was signifying that he thought that Bond had played on so Stan Magro will get the free kick centre wing member side of the ground. From that position, Magro goes right across the ground in towards the centre. Edwards made beautiful position. A dangerous piece of football in some extent. A hand pass comes across to Dacos. He has one bounce, then decides to run around Dempsey. Straightens up from centre half forward. Goes for the long kick. A beautiful kick. Could be shepherded through from Kink. A beautiful piece of play by Renee Kink. And it's four points as Collingwood now. Down to 1 4. 10 points with North Melbourne. 1 5 11. Well, I think you'd say it's a, a pro Collingwood crowd here tonight. This big crowd. You can hear the roar go up when the make play. Young Dacus. You watch Dacus get out of the pack from this hand pass. He balks uh, uh, Dempsey beautifully. He could have run a little bit further, but he was a magnificent player. Very stylish, Bob. And watch the. You know, I had the viewers watch to see a beautiful piece of shepherding by Renee Kink. He's holding the players out there, made sure that it could not get back. Doug Smith was also. Smith indicating he, he felt he touched it, but there wasn't any way in the world that he touched that ball. Centre bounce, knocked out by Dempsey. Shaw's grabbed, he tried to get clear. Umpire gave him the all clear. The umpire looks as though he could ball. No, he's paying a free kick to Hennebury. Collingwood looking a lot better than halfway through that first quarter. Back to Renee Kink, Brew at the back. Down it comes to Brewer, spins out of the pack in a bit of trouble. Henshaw juggles the ball but gets it out wide. Here's a chance now for Schimmelbush, but Byrne won't give in. Schimmelbush got it at centre half back. He's grabbed a hand pass, coming back there to Jarrett. Another one over to Wilson, it's a bad kick. A chance for Morris. Morris hooks the ball back. Out there towards Herbert, coming across as Edwards, getting away from Glenn Denning now. A ball, and box for the second time from Jarrett. Beautiful play. A long kick, uh, Kink got the set this time. Can he get into position? Uh, Smith dropped the Kink juggle the ball. Back it comes to Smith on the back pocket. Five Gilly, there's pressure on here as Sutton picks up the ball at half back and takes it away from the danger zone. Beautiful pass from Sutton, just doesn't quite reach Dempsey. Dempsey will give a hand pass back though to Jarrett and North Melbourne clear at the moment as Jarrett goes straight up towards centre half forward. Blight punches the ball away, it just misses Bond. He and uh, Magro both diving underneath it and it's Stewart of Collingwood who gets the ball out and a good mark though by Schimmelbush in the front position. He plays on straight away. The little fellow from North Melbourne drives it towards centre half forward. McCann dropping back. It's over the back of the pack. Morris taps the ball wide. Brightus was coming through, but it's Ireland of Collingwood. His high kick goes straight up in the air. Not a good kick. Moore was high, miss, missed it completely. It's tapped wide. Comes towards Huppets. He was beaten for it by Tony Shaw. And the hand pass comes out now to Herbert. Herbert's able to give a long hand pass down. Looking for Craig Davis. Davis runs past one tackle of Glenn Denning and it's picked up now by Hanabry. Hanabry going through towards centre half forward. Tackle from behind, a push in the back will be paid to Hanabry. A bad tackle by Doug Smith. 
That's the one way the umpires have been very consistent all throughout this season. And Hanabry now, as we watch on replay, tackled from behind, Smith riding him to the ground, and a good shot there of umpire Bill Della showing well just exactly what he thinks. As the short pass goes to Davis, it calls play on. He's hooked the ball. It goes across, but it's one, just one point. So Davis, another miss, and he brings up his third consecutive point for Collingwood. Four. Five minutes into this uh, second quarter, scores dead level. One goal, five, 11 points apiece. And who said these games weren't fair dinkum? This is a real tough one, but there's a lot of money at stake. $64,000 to the winner. Ball back into play again. The Glenn Denning at the back flies over the pack. Picked up by Davis. Not a very good uh, effort that time, but down goes Edwards. Could have got a push in the back, but the umpire said play on as Glenn Denning goes for a short pass. It's okay. And he's found Dempsey out there towards the half back line. A quick hand pass over to Schimmelbusch. Schimmelbusch goes for a long kick down there towards that half forward line. Jarrett at the back, but not good enough that time. And a good mark taken out there by Stewart. The Collingwood defence has certainly tightened up since that first five minutes, Lou. Yeah, they were a little bit ragged. I think they were taken by surprise. Bob, out it goes to Moore. Peter Moore with a mark out there on the centre wing position. Can this fella show a bit of pace? But that's a bad kick. Back it goes to Dempsey again. He lost that one. He pounced on the ball. He's not going to give it up. Schimmelbush there too, he's grabbed, it's finally picked up by Dacos. A hand pass out to Shaw, Tony Shaw going for a pass to Kink, he's got it! Renee Kink, yet to score a goal, he's about, let's see how far out he is, he'd be about uh, 25 to 30 metres out. And he's been having a bad trot for the Magpies, he was taken up on Saturday, but finished up getting the goal that uh, clinched the game for Collingwood. The shot by Renee Kink. A goal! Well, that uh, might have given Kink the confidence he wanted to get, uh, get uh, Bob, because he certainly lacked a bit over the last few weeks. Well, watching Kink go back to line up for goal there, Lou, he certainly was concentrating, and there was nothing casual about the uh, the way Kink was approaching that. Yes, that's no doubt about that. And, of course, Collingwood, as Bob said before, looking a lot better uh, from about halfway through that uh, first quarter. I think uh, North Melbourne took them by surprise, Bob. At the moment, I think uh, Collingwood have really steadied, and it's their fierce tackling. North Melbourne not disposing of the ball anywhere near as well as they were early in the piece. Well, there's the ball down there towards Collingwood's half four line, but we see Ramsey in the way. Collingwood at the moment, uh, two goals, 5 7 to North, 1 5, 11 points. The ball out there on that uh, the half back line, picked up by Schimmelbush. He and Burner having a great battle, but that's a beautiful pass out there to Bond on his own. Bond boots the ball long down there towards that. Uh, Half four lot. Oh, look at that for a mark by Peter Moore. That's a beautiful one. A hand pass over to Magro. He's got to come back onto his right boot to boot it down towards Davis. Henshaw coming in. That's a darn good safe mark out there on that centre wing position to the North Melbourne defender. Ross Henshaw goes for the short pass. Given the lead by Xavier Tanner, and it's well accepted. Tanner just short of centre wing. Still a long way from goal, naturally. Nice kick from Tanner towards centre half forward. Pick it in position. Goes for the one-hander. Couldn't quite get it. Magro gives a hand pass across to Tony Shaw. He gives a long hand pass into the centre where it's Dacos coming out with it. He hand passes on again. Collingwood making fine position as Craig Stewart puts the long high kick towards centre half forward. Kink in the, from behind. And it's uh, now we see it come away with the ball as the, Wilson comes off and Darrell Schimmelbush on for North Melbourne. Jeb back now with Jarrett. Jarrett now on centre wing, comes across in towards the centre of the ground, across the ground, Dempsey up high, couldn't take the mark, it goes towards Tanner, the quick kick from Tanner down towards half forward, but all their forwards are right out of position, but Bond swoops in now after the bounce beat the island, the long kick from Bond, there's players in position now, as the Kerry Good takes the mark, it could have been Good or Huppets who took it, and Good now will line up to attempt to kick his first goal after two straight behinds. Scoreboard at the moment, 1-5, 11 points, North Melbourne. Collingwood, 2-5, 17, so if good can kick it from 15 metres out, scores will be level once again. Very good. No mistake about that, so scores are level. Ke Kerry Good on screen, we watch it on video replay as Shane Bond puts a long kick in, and as I call there, Huppets leaving the ball for Kerry Good, so scores Lou now level, two goals, five apiece. Well, we can't grill have helped the closest of this game. They're very keen, both these sides. We go back to the centre now, waiting for Dempsey to do battle with Moore. 
Collingwood uh, were taken by surprise in that first quarter. In the, within the first a minute and a half, North Melbourne got a goal, but they've settled down a bit, but North Melbourne came back pretty well. We've seen some great battles there, particularly the one between Byrne not giving an inch, but Simmel was doing a pretty good job for North Melbourne. But isn't that typical of him? They go, oh, he missed that altogether, Herbert. Tries to get it again, but uh, Bond's in there on top of him. The umpire's going to ball it up in between the centre pos position and the uh, Collingwood centre-half forward uh, place. Herbert is doing a good job there, Lou, in getting in behind uh, Dempsey at that centre bounce and making sure that if it bounces that way, Dempsey doesn't get a clear look at it. There's a free kick to Dempsey that time against Moore, and Dempsey's got the free kick just about at centre field. Dempsey's kick is not a good one. Dacos tries to smother it. Picked up beautifully that time by Huppets. He's showing a lot of pace for an old man, but he was grabbed by Dacos, and the umpire said he was grabbed, and he didn't have the ball that time. Well, he's closer than we are. Out it goes to Arnold Blyders. Ireland right on his back. Uh, Ireland doing pretty well out there at half back. Gets around his opponent, uh, but the umpire said it's out of bounds. Out of bounds on North Melbourne's half forward line, about uh, 65 metres around from their goal. McCann at the back, knocked out by Stewart. Going through is Morris. McCann comes in. Finally, Morris gets a hand pass out to the wrong man. It's out to Jarrett. The ball driven up there by Simmel. It's good at the back. He flies. Nearly grabbed that one. McCormick tries to tap it out. He does. And beautifully picked up by Stan Magro. Backing up well as the ball comes back towards Collingwood's half-back line. Chance for Davis, but well taken away from him by uh, Smith. Smith with a short pass. It's too long to Bond. Magro once again can't get around uh, Bond. And Bond... Uh, Really shows a bit of uh, talent that time to get the ball back there towards the full forward position. Punched away by the Collingwood defenders. Quickly picked up and kicked out there by Tony Shaw. Dacos and Wilson having a... Uh, Schimmelbush having a great battle. But it's uh, Dacos once again, and this fella can really play football. As the ball is kicked back there towards uh, Ray Shaw and Ramsey. Ray Shaw got one on the back, got a hand pass. No one there for him. And Wayne Schimmelbush comes in. On his back there is Byrne. Finally, uh, they stacking up out there at half forward. And the umpire will board it up about 50 metres out from the Collingwood goal. When you see Dacos move like that, Lou, it's hard to believe that it's only five weeks ago that that same player had a cartilage operation. Ball up to take place. Dacos there on screen. Umpire Bill Deller actually throwing the ball up, so it must be a little bit damp out in that area. Picked up by Tony Shaw. Taken by Edwards. Edwards going goalward. It uh, could be a goal if it's going to go online. A great piece of football by Alan Edwards as he brings up his first goal and puts Collingwood back in front again as they go to 3-5-23 with North Melbourne 2 5 17. Well, I don't know if, that, uh, if he meant that, Bob. You watch him. He just kicked blindly there, but he may have had uh, second sense to get it through. You watch it here now. There he is, but he snapped it, and uh, it looked pretty definite, Bob, from there, didn't it? Well, whether it is or not, Lewis, <laughs> on the board, and it puts Collingwood exactly one goal in front once again. A great game of football. 23 points, Collingwood, 17 points, North Melbourne, as Dempsey and Moore contest again. The bounce was straight up and down. Both players missed it. It's picked up by Herbert. He drives the ball straight down the ground, but in defence for North Melbourne is Sutton. He goes on straight away, left towards centre wing, looking out there for Huppets. Huppets leading in the race for the ball. He's under pressure, though, from Herbert. Balks around Herbert, comes back onto the right foot, goes for the short pass and finds Xavier Tanner. Tanner on centre wing, Ray Shaw on the mark, but it's Xavier Tanner now. Favouring the drop punt, looking down there for Brightus, but it's punched away from Brightus, taken by Morris. The Collingwood defence standing firm in this, at this, this stage. Good pass from Morris and a good mark there by Craig Davis, although a lot of pressure was put on him from his opposite number, that being Doug Smith. Davis towards half forward, but a good mark taken by Ross Glendening. Wasting no time, he handballs on to Sutton. Sutton gives it now to Jarrett. Jarrett almost in the centre. A beautiful kick from Jarrett, but nobody home for, for North Melbourne as we see a good mark taken down there by Andrew Ireland. The hand pass across to Morris, playing a solid game. Morris has kicked though offline. Henshaw misses it, but is able to give a hand pass to Schimmelbush. Schimmelbush from centre wing, back towards centre half forward again. Brightus in the front, it's punched away, down towards Magro, he gets a hand pass out. Coming across now is Pickin, Pickin forcing the ball forward, little left and kicked off the ground again by Pickin towards Schimmelbush. He traps the ball well but didn't handle it cleanly, heavily met but got out of it in beautiful fashion. A great player Schimmelbush as he puts a long kick down towards half forward. Missed by Melt McCormick, picked up by Bond. Bond goes goal when it's offline. We see Stewart racing after it, but it beats Stewart over the boundary line and a throw-in will take place 10 metres around from the behind post in the forward pocket for North Melbourne. 14 minutes gone of this second quarter. Collingwood 3-5-23 to North Melbourne 2-5-17. There's Barassi in the box. 
He's probably uh, worrying what he can do about this, but his side's going all right at the moment. As it comes back here now, picked up by Magra. That was a lovely pick up by Stan the man. The ball back there towards the uh, centre position. Oh, Ramsey doing a great job down there at half back. It's about five marks he's taken so far. A quick hand pass over to Whit, gets pushed in the back, but still gets his kick down there. And that's a great mark again to McCann. And he goes off the mark pretty quick as he gets a snapshot for goal, but he's off target. It's coming right around. McCormick goes for the punch. Malcolm Blight's there. He'll have a snap for goal. What's this one like? Right across the face of goal. Moore coming out to try and reach, so it'll beat them all and go for the boundary line and out of bounds. There's good going for a ride that time. It might be a free kick for a push in the back. It is. Silly play on the part of Peter Moore that time. Watching watch on the replay, Lou, and uh, well, Moore actually did touch him. I think I feel sure that Good put on a big act. I think but, he might have uh, conned the umpire. Nonetheless, Bob. Moore did put the hand there, and so a foolish piece of play just uh, in that near action. Well, Good's only about 35 metres out on a pretty acute angle. The shot. One point. So it's North Melbourne, two goals, six eighteen. The Collingwood 3-5-23, a very low scoring game at the moment, but it's the matter it's a battle of the back lines. I would say that both the defence is standing up pretty well at the 15-minute mark. Tommy Hafey got his problems too, as well as Barassi. The ball back into play again. In front is Edwards. Glenn Denning goes for the punch down. Edwards butters up pretty well, picks it up. Uh, no, he can't get it up uh, out there on that wing position. He's finally got it now, but he's going back towards North Melbourne's half-forward line. Finally hooks the ball back towards the wing position. Glenn Denning in position. That's a great mark. Quickly plays on. He's in trouble. He's grabbed around the neck, and the umpire gave him the free kick and said, play on. Up it goes there towards the full forward zone. Good flies high. Finally picked up by Stewart of Collingwood. Boots it out to Davis, and Davis got one on the back that time, even though he took the mark from uh, Smith. Ball kicked across towards the centre of the ground. Edwards and Glenn Denning again. Over their heads. Schimmelbush and Byrne. Knocked out by Glenn Denning. Grabbed by Ick. He drops the ball. Finally, it comes out to Wick again. Trying to get through a pack. He's grabbed by Glenn Denning. Little uh, Daryl Schimmelbush. A hand pass over to his brother. It bounces right from him out there on the wing position. A short pass to Malcolm Blight at centre half four. Another one over to Brightus. He's a bit slow. He's grabbed. He gets it back to Blight, but a top target. He shows a lot of talent that time to pick the ball up. Another hand pass, a bad one out there to Jarrett, but OK, it bounces all right. The ball back there to Was. Little Huppets, he's coming out. He could be in a bit of trouble there. The ball knocked back again. There's Greg going down, telling it over to Good. A hurried kick down there towards the forward pocket, and the ball is out of bounds. Pace, pace, pace. That's what it is tonight. Two goals, 6-18 North Melbourne. To Collingwood, three goals, 5-23 at the 17-minute mark. Who said that money doesn't talk all languages? These blokes are battling their insides out at the moment for that $64,000. It comes back there to uh, Collingwood as we see the hand pass coming out from Ireland. The ball driven around there by Shaw. In front is Dacos, nearly marked that one. I would have paid that if I'd have been the umpire. The ball driven back, but it's out of bounds. Out of bounds on that uh, half forward line for North Melbourne, about 70 metres around from their goal. At the 17 minute mark, it's Collingwood 3 5 23 to North Melbourne 2 6 18. Gary Dempsey. Waiting the throw in, Malcolm Blight. Desperate football, only three goals to Collingwood, two to North Melbourne, but I'm sure not one fan at this ground is complaining at the moment with a desperate game of football as Henshaw tries to get the handball out. It's kicked off the ground by Moore, picked up by William out. He's tackled by Bond, gets away from the tackle, gets a hand pass towards Peter Moore. Moore now with a left foot kick up over towards the half forward line, punched away there by Smith. Back now and picked up there by Craig Davis. He shows a turn of speed and then drives the ball over the half forward line. Brewer coming out for Collingwood. Gives a hand pass across to Ray Shaw. Shaw straightens up from the pocket. Gives a pass across to Collingwood. It's left there by Herbert and a good mark taken by Craig Davis who followed right down the ground. Great football by Davis because he actually kicked the ball from centre wing in the first place and then in true ruck rover fashion went on down the ground and made position for Ray Shaw to give him that ball only 20 metres out from goal. Good play on the part of Herbert too, Bob. No mistake by Davis as he brings up his first goal and takes Collingwood to 4-5, 29 points with North Melbourne 2-6-18. Pass from, da from Craig Davis out towards Brewer. Hand pass across to Ray Shaw. And brilliant football by Shaw. He could have had a shot at goal. And as Lou called, Herbert had every opportunity to take that mark himself but very unselfishly got the call from Davis and uh, left it for, for Davis to put through Collingwood's fourth goal. Well, Collingwood in front by 11 points at the moment, and we're at the 19-minute uh, mark of this second quarter, about a minute to go. 
First two quarters, 20 minutes. The uh, the last two are the normal quarters. Coming out on the ground as the runner. For uh, that's the uh, North Melbourne runner. That's a Collingwood boy. Yeah, that's uh, Tommy's brother. Set a bounce. Moore. And Moore got that one out to Craig Davis. Lost the ball as he was trying to spin around. Picked up by uh, Bond over to uh, Daryl Simabush. A hand pass. Here's a go now for Shaw to pick it up. Tony Shaw, he's moving around well tonight. The ball, there's the siren for the end of the second quarter. And at half time, we see uh, Collingwood 4 5 29. For North Melbourne, two goals, 6 18. In the Escort Cup of 1980, the grand final. We were talking about Blight and his form, so we'll soon find out whether he's back or not. Start ready now. Collingwood in front by 11 points going into this second half. Knocked out by Moore, actually, that time. Pushed away again by Byrne. Punched away again by Dempsey. Back to Morris and Collingwood go back into attack. Down towards their half forward line. Well played by Ick. Backed his judgment all the way that time. The ball out towards the half forward line. Punched away by Ireland. The defenders are going for the spoiling tactics. Not going for marks at all. Malcolm Blight's grab. Umpire said he was pushed in the back and Blight will take the free kick. Out there towards the edge of the square at half forward. Malcolm Blight now playing at centre half forward for Collingwood. Guys, it's straight down the ground. McCann's in front, but couldn't take the mark. It's punched away. A free kick has been paid though, and he's going to Collingwood. So it'll be Peter Moore who's played a magnificent game so far. Not that Dempsey hasn't played well, but Moore of Collingwood drives it back towards centre wing. Schimmelbush punches the ball down, goes straight towards Ray Shaw. He traps the ball, falls at the vital time, but gets a knock out towards Picken. Picken looking for the free kick, taps it wide now, but it's taken high Huppets of North Melbourne. His kick straight across the ground. It's Greg out there, punches the ball away from Hanabry, down towards the forward pocket. Kerry Good coming down, couldn't trap the ball cleanly. Stewart picks it up for Collingwood, gets it across towards Magro, diving in with Magro as McCann. Handball over the top, but just before that, umpire Ian Robinson had signified that he would come in and bounce the ball about 30 metres out from the North Melbourne goal. Well, there's a chance for North Melbourne to score a goal here. But the Collingwood defenders are standing up pretty well so far. No one attempting to take a mark, just going for the punch all the time. McCann gets the tap down. Magro crushes his way through the pack. Finally it comes. Oh, nearly a push in the back that time. But the umpire said, yes, it is. It'll be Herbert to take the uh, free kick. He's played fairly well for Collingwood tonight. Do over to Moore. Out towards Dempsey again. Getting the sit goes for the punch. Keith Gregg pounces on the ball. He goes down. They pounce on top of Gregg. But no hope of getting it out. It's free kick against him for tapping the ball on or throwing it, he said. Collingwood skipper to take the free kick out there on the centre wing position. Well, actually, more down towards the uh, Collingwood half back line. Collingwood in front by 11 points. Short pass. Dacos out there. He's been a star in the centre today. Played a very good game. Blonde tips and all. It hasn't worried him. Edwards and Glenn Denny. Flying high that time. He's, no, he wouldn't pay that mark. He gets a hand pass out to the wrong man. He's grabbed too high, the umpire said, and Edwards will take the free kick out there towards the half-forward line for Collingwood. A chance now to really send Collingwood to attack. Try and get it up there to Brewer and Kink. They're closely guarded by Ick and Sutton. Oh, beat them all that time. Sutton's got the run. Davis coming in. Sutton goes for the punch. Davis goes after the ball. It's out of bounds in the forward pocket. About 15 metres around from the Collingwood goal. They're 29 points for North Melbourne, 18 points at the two-minute mark of this third quarter. Of course, this third quarter goes 25 minutes plus time on. Brewer in the front position. Dempsey gets a knockout. Hand pass across over to Tony Shaw. Shaw goes goal. It's across the face of goal. A good mark taken by Sutton. He's able to play on straight away and put the ball out towards the centre wing. It's into no man's land. Leading in the race for the ball is Hanabry, but the ball beats him over the line. So we'll see a boundary throw in take place halfway between centre wing and half forward flank out of sight of the ground for Collingwood. 11 points to margin, three minutes into the third term of the Escort Championship. Glenn Denning gets it down, a beautiful tap taken by Greg. He drives it up towards the half forward flank. A sitter of a mark missed by Tanner, but he fortunately recovers. Then goes for the bounce. He'll be in trouble for that if he doesn't get it out now. The hand pass across towards Blight. Blight intercepted by Shaw. Then Blight tries to tap the ball out. He's grabbed, went in possession of the ball, and Kevin Morris will take the free kick for Collingwood. Morris back towards centre wing. Greg in position to mark and does just that. Keith Gregg, it's called play on by the umpire as he ran to the side, hand pass over the top to Smith. Smith of North Melbourne now, the long kick down towards half forward. All Collingwood really, but the mark was missed down there by Picken. He's well backed up by Ireland, who gives it back to Picken. Now a high kick back up towards the centre of the ground and the mark taken by Alan Edwards. Good play by Collingwood, they're backing each other superbly, but the mark looks like it's not being paid to uh, Edwards. And the umpire Bill Dalla, disagreeing with yours truly. So it's a centre bounce. 
Edwards, a backhanded punch out of the, out from that bounce. Herbert trying to get away from the ball. It's missed by Glenn Denning. Ramsey desperately tried to tap the ball wide. It's been given against to Ramsey. A little bit harsh there. And Ronnie Weamouth will take the free kick. Free kick to Weamouth just about at centre field. A long hand pass coming over to Herbert. He's in trouble here. Try to get one back. Weamouth's got another long one. Uh, so is Byrne. He's grabbed. Throws the ball away. And the umpire set a free kick down there to Jarrett. Four and a half minutes gone. Collingwood still 4-5-29 four, 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 to North Melbourne 2-6-18. Jarrett at centre half back. Boots the ball back towards the centre of the ground. Actually goes over the, towards the wing position. Punched out by Ireland. Out to Wayne, uh, Wayne Simmelbus. Gets a kick off the ground. Umpire said he was grabbed when he didn't have the ball that time. And the uh, North Melbourne skipper takes the free kick out there on the centre wing position. A very low scoring game. 29 points plays 18 points in Collingwood's favour. The Escort Cup uh, Grand Final of 1980 coming to you live uh, through Channel 7. We certainly hope you're enjoying this right throughout Australia. Ball punched away that time by McCormick. Coming down to Bright as he sandwiches, he goes down. Finally picked up by Ireland again, doing a great job at half back. A hand pass from Herbert over to Weir now. He gets away from Dempsey, goes for a pass, looking for Little Shaw. Punched away by Ranch, and the ball is out of bounds. He's doing a pretty good job out there at half-back, Ramsey, Bob. A solid player, Lou, and um, you mentioned before, young Herbert. He's been a very good player as a ruck rover. Ball back into play, Dempsey and Edwards. Dempsey got a tap down for the second time to Uppets. He's clear, back to Ramsey again, the boy I was speaking about. The ball shot across towards centre-half forward, more on the front posse. Umpire nearly paid the mark there as it's driven back there towards the full forward zone. McCormick comes out to meet it, he runs over the ball. Has a chance now for Stewart, he backs up well, goes for a pass. It's not a good one, actually, but it goes. It finds its uh, mark as we see uh, uh, Morris go for a pass, but he's put it out of bounds with a shocking kick. Terrible kick that time by Morris. This gives North Melbourne a chance now to go deep into attack through their skipper, Wayne Schimmelbush. He's had a great battle there with Byrne. Byrne hasn't had many kicks, but he's putting pressure on Schimmelbush. Ball back again. Magro goes for the thump. Backing up well as uh, Jarrett goes for a pass out there. Wide to McCann. McCann's out there on the half full on a hand pass over to Greg, comes back onto his right boot, boots the ball back there towards the full forward zone, over the top of the pack and it's out of bounds right against the point post in North Melbourne's forward pocket position. So we're at the six minute mark and the score still the same, 4-5-29 Collingwood to North Melbourne 2-6-18. Scores haven't changed since half time. Coming down to McCann, a chance to pick it up, goes for a kick off the ground, grabbed by Tanner, hurried kick right across goal, it's out of bounds. And the umpire, will he throw it and might have hit the line? Yes, a throw in from that forward pocket position about five metres around from the North Melbourne goal on the other side of the ground. Certainly no slackening in pace as we see Peter Moore into the back of his opponent here. And Stephen McCann, because of uh, the Moore disagreeing with that one, a rare occasion that Peter Moore has something to say about a free kick, but when it's only 20 metres out from goal, you certainly feel, I think, that you must have something to say. Well, most unlike a Brandlow medalist, Bob, Oh, I wouldn't exactly say that, Lou. They have their moments. But uh, Stephen McCann now, the opportunity of bringing them six points closer. McCann lines up. The goal umpire does not move. So full points to Stephen McCann. Well, that's uh, a very handy goal to North Melbourne. And... Uh... They badly need it because they've been struggling. Uh, they struggled uh, very much so in that uh, second quarter, Bob, and they look a little uh, stronger. They're showing a little bit more determination at the moment, but still a long way to go. They badly needed that goal, Lou, because it had been quite a while since they'd put a goal on the board. Eight minutes into the uh, third quarter, North Melbourne 3 6 24 to Collingwood 4 5 29. Phil Peter Moore and Dempsey competing for it. Dempsey actually got the, the knock. Grabbed and put forward by Wilson. At the back of the pack, Magro almost took possession. Huppert's line looming up for, for Collingwood. Good comes across, for North Melbourne, I should have said. Good coming across, collided with his teammate Huppert. Trying to break away was McCormick. And now umpire Bill Dallow indicates that nobody had a chance to get the ball clear. So we'll see a ball up take place 35 metres out from the North Melbourne goal. Only five points to margin. We see Ray Shaw signalling in the background. Again, Bill Dallow throws it up in that uh, area out there. Trying to burst through the pack is Wilson. Screws ball back over the shoulder. It's a high kick. Brightest in position. It's punched away down there by the Collingwood defence. Magro takes possession of the ball. Handball's forward. Goes on after it again. He's supported by Bill Pickin. 
Pickin from centre half back drives the ball down towards the centre of the ground, but it's all North Melbourne as it was Dempsey or Glendenning given across to Glendenning by Dempsey. Now the left foot of Glendenning drives it straight down towards centre half forward. Uh, Moore was up high with one hand, caught one there from Little Huppets, and Peter Moore now holding his head. We watch on video replay as we see the little fella Huppets trying to make the, the, the connection. He certainly made the connection. There was no doubt about that. But Peter Moore driving a long kick back towards the centre. Off the hands of the pack. Wayne Schimmelbush grabs the ball for North Melbourne. Puts the long hand pass in to Smith. Smith across to Bond. Bond drives the kick down towards the forward zone. A big pack of players up. It's a great effort to mark. Kerry Good coming out with the ball for North Melbourne. And he'll have the opportunity of going for his second goal and putting North Melbourne in front. Watch again on video replay as Shane Bond's kick goes down. From the side, really, Kerry Good coming across, bringing the ball right down. So Kerry Good now will line up to attempt to kick his second goal. North Melbourne looking a lot better now. That last goal would have given them a big lift in their confidence. It's Kerry Good from 25 metres out. Full points, according to the umpire. Well, two goals uh, to North Melbourne. They're the only uh, goal scored for the quarter and uh, now Collingwood are trailing by a point. So uh, the pressure on the Magpies. So, uh, Bob, uh, it's up to Collingwood now to try and get themselves back uh, in front and uh, put more pressure on the, the back line of Collingwood's got a little bit lax towards, uh, well, in that last uh, five minutes of play. I think it's as much a case of uh, the North Melbourne small men doing a better job around the pack. Uh, uh, in the first half, uh, Collingwood had the better of the small jewels, and as, as we just uh, witnessed there, Dempsey getting a few knockouts from that centre. Well, the ball down towards Collingwood's half full on. Kink in front, tries to grab the mark on the second go, goes after it again. He got one on the back. He knocks his own man sure over that time, went right into him. They both went down. Edwards having trouble. The umpire said, hold on the ball. He said he tried to kick it. Eleven minutes into the third term in the Escort Championships and North Melbourne in front by one point. 4-6-30 to Collingwood, 4-5-29. Magrode gets it down to centre-half forward. Picked up by Edwards. He's grabbed. Is it too high? Yes, it's dropping the ball. Free kick to uh, Smith. Well tackled that time. Collingwood really struggling at the moment. North Melbourne playing a lot better as the ball is picked up by uh, Glenn Denning over to Ramsey. A left footer out there towards the wing position. Hannibury coming after it now. It bounces too long. Intercepted that time by Tanner. Tanner's in a bit of trouble, but spins out of the pack nicely. Beautiful play. A hand pass. A long one. Over to Bond. Back to Greg. Another one over to Brightus on his own. And he'll have a running shot for goal. Let's see the result. Hit the post. Hit the post. By golly, they're starting to look pretty good now, North Melbourne. Starting to get those revs up. Keith Greg in trouble, Lou. Uh... After Greg had uh, handballed down, he uh, was knocked and uh, was obviously in a bit of bother at the moment. Well, we're 12 minutes into this uh, third quarter. Collingwood 4-5-29, trailing North Melbourne by two points. 4-7-31, the ball out there. And the uh, kick going there to uh, Billy Pickin at half back for a mark. Billy Pickin. Collingwood haven't scored this quarter yet. Dempsey in front. Doing a pretty good job, a quick hand pass. Coming over there to Hupp, it's a short pass. A mark to Jarrett, and this looks dangerous. He runs to an open goal. It's a bit short, I think. McCann in front. Stewart on his back. He turns one way, then back the other. Goes for a short pass. It could be OK. Bond dropped that, but backing up well. Here's Hupp, it's well smothered by the Collingwood defender, Magro. Oh, they're going in pretty hard. We see Tony Shaw go down. Bond goes down, and it's dropping the ball against him. Well tackled by Morris. He's an old campaigner down there in defence. Had a lot of experience. Played on a couple of Richmond premierships. So it's Keith Gregg on his feet. That's good news for North Melbourne. Edwards coming across. Just about marked that. He said play on. But I'd go along with that with the umpire because he took it out of uh, Gregg's hands that time. No doubt about it. He's not too happy about it. And the umpire. Good decision by Bill Dalla. A ball up out there on that half forward line for North Melbourne. A Robertson it was. I thought it was Bill Dalla. We can't go... Uh, Give the wrong uh, praise to the wrong umpire. Picked up by uh, Edwards, a hand pass to Billy Peckham. Well shepherded off by Tony Shaw. The ball back out there now. There's a kick, got on his back that time, Hick, and the kick will take the free kick, and the crowd are giving him a bit of a raspberry there as he boots the ball 
up there towards the full forward position, Sutton at the back, goes for the punch, actually could nearly hit him on the head, coming after it now for Collingwood as Davis turns one way, back on the left foot, a snap across towards the face of the goal, but a good mark down there in defence by Henshaw. 14 minutes gone of this third quarter, and North Melbourne still in front by two points. A hand pass over to Daryl Sutton at uh, a full back, then another one over to uh, Ramsey. A pass out wide to Keith Gregg, Collingwood playing loose football, letting their opponents get away as we see Keith Gregg boot the ball over the centre field position. Up towards Brightus as a push in the back there, no, the umpire said play on. Sure again with a hand pass out to Moore, and a long kick up there towards the full forward zone. Ramsey couldn't hold that, a chance for Ray Shaw to get it out, but he goes down and they stack up on top of him and the umpire said play on as Ramsey gets the ball once ag away once again, playing a great game there in defence uh, for North Melbourne. Ramsey's kick right into the open, Hanover's first to the ball, a right foot kick, I think he's gone over the boundary line as he went to kick the ball though, under pressure from Keith Gregg, so we'll see a boundary throw in take place, centre wing out of side of the ground. Only two points between the sides, Peter Moore and Gary Dempsey, Neither Ruckman has gone off the ball all night. Moore, of course, number 30. Dempsey, 24. Dempsey into the back of Moore. Wilson of North Melbourne. His kick's off the side of the boot. He goes after it again. Taps the ball forward. Morris comes out. His grab when not in possession. And uh, I thought the umpire was going to call play on because Herbert won the ball. But he had previously blown his whistle. So we'll see Kevin Morris get the free kick for Collingwood on the centre wing. 4-7 North Melbourne, 4-5 Collingwood. At half-time, it was 2-6 North Melbourne, 4-5 Collingwood. So Collingwood yet to score. Ron Barassi speaking to the probably to the runner, getting a message down to the bench anyway. As Dempsey comes across once again, he's come right into the play in this quarter. He's taken so far six marks. He and uh, Peter Moore have both been fine players for their respective sides. Dempsey, the long kick from one end of the... Centre diamond to the other. Pickett and Moore up together and it comes down to Malcolm Blight. His snap over the shoulder goes towards the centre half forward position. Peter McCormick comes out, traps the ball well. Follows on after it, runs straight into Schimmelbush. A good tackle there by Schimmelbush. Good try to take the ball away. Burns there for Collingwood. So too is Tony Shaw. A, a tackle too high and Tony Shaw gets the free kick. Shaw with the ball out there on that uh, half-back flank position for Collingwood. Goes wide. Chance for Henshaw to mark. Put his... Uh, Backside right into uh, Edwards' stomach that time and uh, took a pretty uh, good mark, I'd say. Rather spectacular one. Out there on that wing position, North Melbourne still in front by two points. And the crowd here tonight, over 50,000, certainly couldn't growl about this game because it's been nip and tuck from the very word go. Dempsey once again for mark number seven. The ball over the uh, half-forward line for North Melbourne. Brightus plays on, taps the ball back over his head. A chance now for more. Oh, he ran out the way of a uh, little uppets that time. Finally, the ball comes back there, and piling on top of it. No one will give uh, one inch at the moment. The umpire's going to ball it up about 45 metres out uh, from the North Melbourne goal. It's in towards their forward pocket position. Tell me what you couldn't say they don't try in these night games. This is a real rip game. Ball coming back here now to uh, Schimmelbush. Jugging the ball around the boundary line, gets a hurried kick. It could be OK. And there's a mark to good. And Good's already kicked two goals. He'd only be about uh, 20 metres out from goal on a, about a 45 degree. There's the shot there. Pretty difficult shot, but uh, let's see what he can do. He's, I think he's kicked two, four. Let's see his shot now. That's OK. It's a goal. Well, North Melbourne... Looking uh, pretty good at the moment. Collingwood uh, have hardly got the ball over their centre. Well, just past their centre half forward position. They've been struggling all along this quarter, Bob. Lou, it just makes you wonder whether the, the breeze is uh, really favouring the uh, right hand uh, end of the screen because uh, Collingwood kicked four goals, one to one, one in that second term. And so far in this quarter, North Melbourne have added three goals, one, while Collingwood have yet to score. Notice they've put Davis down to full forward, too. really Collingwood uh, as I said before their smaller men have drifted out of the game a little bit and the, the defense of North Melbourne have really held firm in this uh, this quarter well for the whole game for that matter both uh, defenses have been very very strong ball down towards Collingwood's full forward position the chance now for uh, Herbert to have a hurried shot for goal it's out of bounds on the full so Collingwood uh... in the escort championships 
North Melbourne 5 7 37, leading Collingwood 4 5 29. There's a chance now for Bond, a long hand pass over to Keith Gregg, and one coming back to Wilson on his own. He could be in a bit of trouble as more. He's got him, Morris. Well tackled down there, and a free kick to Morris out there on that centre wing position. Tackling's very fierce tonight, a long hand pass over to uh, Tony Shaw. Put him on a ring back now as we see Collingwood trying to get clear through with Hanabury. He's dumped and uh, picked up by Jarrett. A hand pass coming over now to Greg. It falls a bit short and a mark there to Xavier Tanner out there on the centre wing position. Tanner with the ball. Good pass out to Dempsey. It's about mark number eight for the quarter. Ball's kicked across now towards Huppets. In comes McCormick. He didn't quite connect that time. A chance for Huppets to pick it up there in the forward pocket. He spins away from his opponent. Magro goes for short pass. Oh, an easy one dropped by McCann, but he recovers okay. A left foot snap for goal, but he's up target. And it's through for one point. Had a chance to uh, correct that mistake, McCann, but wasn't good enough that time. Four goals, 5.29 Collingwood. For North Melbourne, 5.838 at the 20-minute mark of this third quarter. Waiting for the ball to come back into play by Stewart. Collingwood... Uh, haven't scored for the quarter. Finally, it's back here now. We see Billy Pickham dashing away from the pack to the centre of the ground. Goes for a kick out wide. Renee Kink coming across here. Henshaw's there too, but Renee Kink can't pick it up. Edwards is there to try and get it for Collie, but there's too many North Melbourne players. Well tackled by Edwards as Schimmelbush tries to get the ball. Kink and, uh, and Henshaw, but finally backing up pretty well as Glenn Dinning. The umpire's found a free kick, and the free kick could go to... Uh, or he might be balling it up. Let's see what's happening here. They're going to ball it up on Collingwood's half forward. Dempsey coming off the ground now, Mick Nolan coming on the ground. Probably keeping Dempsey fresh for that last quarter, because it'll be a torrid one too, I would uh, imagine. Finally coming down again, a chance for Blight to get a hurried kick back to the wrong man. Ireland can't get past Bond, having a lot of trouble picking it up now, he's got it. A kick up there towards uh, Brewer, Brewer in front trying to juggle the mark, taken away by Sutton to wear him out. Three North Melbourne players swap him there. It's finally picked up by Glenn Dinning. The ball driven back towards the centre of the ground. Punched away by Tanner from Morris. And the umpires found a free kick and a mark to, uh, free kick to Morris at centre field. Kevin Morris, a great half back tonight. Puts the ball out wide towards the half forward line, but straight to Keith Gregg. Gregg also well on top across the centre. With Dacos going out of the game in this quarter, we have uh, seen. Greg on top on one side of the ground, Schimmelbush on top on the other, so that's one of the reasons that North Melbourne are coming to play as Huppets gives the ball across to Xavier Tanner. Tanner now, nice kick from Tanner. Over the back of the pack, Magro coming in for Collingwood, has time to balk back, drive it back towards half-back, but the kick dropping short, Smith misses the mark, it's tapped wide for William out. Smith coming back, a good tackle, sees the loose ball taken by Nolan. Nolan a hand pass across, Dacos comes back for Collingwood, runs past Smith, has one bounce and swoops around, showing great pace. Dacos, a beautiful pass, finds Kevin Morris. Morris gives the handball back over the top to Hanabry. Hanabry walks around, gives a hand pass to William out. William out does likewise out to Herbert. Herbert now from centre wing, almost on the half forward line, down towards the forward bucket, but he kicks off line, it just bounces before the boundary line, and we'll see a boundary throw in take place almost in the forward pocket for Collingwood. 38 points to North Melbourne, 29 points to Collingwood, 9 points to margin, 22 minutes into the third term of this Escort Championship. Ball back out there towards Greggy goes for the punch and the ball is finally knocked out of bounds. Hafey up there in the box, he'd be pretty concerned about the Magpies' form for this third quarter because they haven't scored at all. Not one point, not one solitary point. Ball back into play. Nolan and Edwards. Mick Nolan gets a tap down, it's OK to Glenn Denning over to Ramsey. Ramsey with a long one back here and the ball taken away from uh, the half-back line by There's a bit of a fight going on behind play there. They're really having a go there, there's a lot of them, but we've got to watch the play. Shaw's in the middle of that as we see the ball finally picked up by Jarrett while the fight's going on and Jarrett has a running shot for goal but McCormick there in defence takes a good mark. Down goes good. Umpire said OK, McCormick goes for a run as the ball goes around towards that uh, half uh, back line and a good mark taken there by Morris playing a great game uh, for Collingwood in defence. Quick hand pass out to the big ruckman uh, Moore on his own. Ball with a hefty kick over the half forward line. It beats about five players. In comes Sutton, taps the ball over towards Greg Edwards, is there, picks it up. A hurried kick, a chance for William out the mark. Quick hand pass over to Brewer. He has a fresh air shot because he was grabbed. Finally picked up by Icky's grab, but gets a hand pass. 
Bob Dundenning drops it. Wearmouth again. Scrambly footballs. It comes back here now. Hand pass. Out there to Shaw. It's a bad kick. They're kicking badly down there. Collingwood forward. Finally, the ball comes out here now to that half forward line. Tony Shaw and Huppets go out. But the younger players in front. He goes for a pass. But it's a shocking kick. Collingwood's forward play is woeful at the moment. Five goals, 8.38 North Melbourne to Collingwood, 4.529 at the 24-minute mark of this third quarter. Still anybody's game, and what a game it is for this grand final of the Escort Cup for 1980. Ramsey's kick up towards the halfback flank, taken by Brightus. Brightus a hand pass across now to Blight. Blight in towards the centre of the ground, the long kick, he's looking for Shane Bond. It's Bond and Magro. Both players showing pace. Magro taps the ball back over where he's given support by Hanabry. Collingwood coming out of defence now as Hanabry's had one bounce. The right foot kick from Hanabry up towards the centre of the ground. Missed by Kink. His opponent, Ick, taking the ball through the centre. Takes the ball right away. Gives a hand pass forward. It's picked up almost there by Tanner. Back now with a tackle by two, Tony Shaw. And we see the free kick going the way of Tony Shaw because the tackle was too high. Shaw, almost in the centre of the ground. Goes for the short pass. Finds Herbert. Herbert, straight down the ground. Glenn Denning in the front position. Backs back, shows tremendous courage and takes a good mark. Plays on straight away, runs past Ray Shaw, showing pace and the courage. And now the beautiful pass from Glenn Denning finds Huppets on centre wing. The long kick from Huppets down, looking for Jarrett. Jarrett at the back, couldn't quite take the mark. Follows up, thought about the handball, screws the ball over the shoulder. It's down to McCann and Edwards, but good up with her, good up high in the air. And Kerry Good coming across in front of the pack has the opportunity of making it goal number four personally and goal number six for North Melbourne. There's the distance, only 20 metres out from goal, about a 45 degree angle, but possibly about 10 metres closer than from where Kerry Good kicked his third goal earlier in this term. Five goals North Melbourne, four Collingwood, but Kerry Good trying to make it six. The kick from Good, offline and only one point the result. We'll watch again on replay as it's kicked over the shoulder now by Jarrett. And Kerry Good coming right across from the side. A great mark to take the scoreboard to 5-9, 39 points North Melbourne. Collingwood 4-5, 29. Out there towards more, the umpire call play on as the uh, ball is picked up by Hanbury. Now the ball shot back towards the centre of the ground. Ten points the difference. A chance for Burns. Shimmerbush is there. Good play by Burns as he scoops the ball back and finally picks it up. Drives it out to two Collingwood players. Grabbed by Everts. A bad hand pass to Davis. Kicked off the ground by Ick. They're making mistakes galore down there, those Collingwood forwards. And the ball is out of bounds. Stephen Ick, Glenn Denning and Ramsey and Henshaw are all and Sutton all playing great games down. They've got their men well covered at the moment. Tommy Hafey in the box. He'd be pretty concerned about Collingwood at the moment because they're 10 points down. And we're pretty close to three-quarter time. Free kick against McNall and we go to Edwards. Edwards out there at half forward, a good distance out from goal, about 60 metres out. It'll be a difficult shot, I don't think he'll make the distance. At the moment we say that, they usually kick a goal. Let's see what he can do with this. Collingwood badly needing a score, they haven't scored for the quarter. It's a long kick, but it's off target, it's out of bounds on the four. And a free kick will go down there to uh, Doug Smith in the back pocket position for North Melbourne. 27 minutes gone, North Melbourne 5-9-39 to Collingwood 4-5-29. Or kick back towards that uh, half back line. Mick Nolan there flying high was more, but it he didn't use judgment. Mick Nolan, oh, Mick stand there, the gallop and gas on, stood there and took the mark easy. Showed how easy was it, how easy it was to take the mark, and there's the sign for the end of the uh, third quarter. And Collingwood uh, trailing at the moment by ten points. Five goals, nine thirty-nine North Melbourne. The Collingwood uh, four five twenty-nine. The uh, breeze, as Doug Wade mentioned before during that uh, three-quarter time uh, comment. Back to the centre for the start of the last quarter of the 1980 Escort Cup Grand Final. Knocked out by Moore. Down towards Wearmouth. It comes back towards uh, uh, Davis trying to spin out of the pack, but it comes back now to centre half forward. Edwards is there, tapped on by Glenn Denning. Going after it again is Davis. He's clear, a hand pass back to Moore. A left foot kick on a very good one over the head of Glenn Denning and Edwards. Backing up well as Ick. Uh, Greg's there trying to get a hand pass out, but he finally gets clear now and scoops the ball up. Good play on the part of Keith Craig as it goes out towards Huppets on that half back line. The ball is out of bounds. On Collingwood's half fourth on about 60 metres around from their goal. The Magpies badly need to get getting a goal in this first two minutes to give themselves a bit of a lift. Failed the score on the third quarter. It'll be Edwards and uh, Dempsey for the knockout. Dempsey got one back there towards Huppets. He fumbled. 
He's grabbed by Edwards. He finally gets the ball out. That's Wilson going out now, crawling along the ground. A hand pass back there to Greg. The ball booted across the centre field. A chance for more to mark. And a good one. Even though uh, Arlen Bright has tried to go for the punch, he's been pretty quiet. I don't think he's had more than one or two kicks. Ball finally over centre half forward. Hick and uh, Rene Kink punched away by Hick. Shaw coming in now. Tony Shaw spins out of the pack. Tries to get it over to Byrne. Byrne taps it on nicely. Good play. He runs to an open goal. Fires. It's a good sort of a kick. It's through for full points. Four points the difference now. And what a game this has turned out to be. Five goals, nine, 39 North Melbourne. The Collingwood, five, five, 35. We watch on uh, replay now as we see a great piece of football by Byrne to show great courage and no stage took his eye off the ball and then a beautiful kick and full points to Ray Byrne to take uh, Collingwood to 5-5, 35 with North Melbourne 5-9, 39. Anybody's game now. Four points the difference in favour of the Kangaroos for $64,000. Up she goes. Dempsey intercepted by Dacos. And the umpire said it'll be dropping the ball against him. A free kick to Wilson at centre field. Ready to send North Melbourne into attack. Over that centre half forward position. Over the head of Morris that time. He couldn't pick it up. Out it comes now towards Magro. Look at him showing a lot of determination. The ball goes out to Magro and um, uh, Morris down there on the uh, boundary line. A long hand pass to pick and a bit of trouble. But a hurried kick out there towards the wing position. Henshaw in position takes a good mark. Out there towards North Melbourne's half forward line. Nice Henshaw. Centre wing. Long kick from Henshaw, right down to the half-forward line. Three Collingwood players, one North Melbourne up, and it comes out to Huppets. Huppets kick smothered, though. It's back with Wilson. Wilson gets in on a bit of trouble, gives a quick hand pass to Jarrett, puts Jarrett under the, under the hammer, and now the long hand pass from Jarrett's intercepted by Craig Davis. He runs his full 15 metres and puts the long kick up to their half-forward line. Punched away by Stephen Hick. Back towards Alan Edwards. Edwards walks around Glenn Denning. Goes through. Gets a hand pass forward towards Hannaby. Hannaby will have to go onto his uh, wrong foot. That's the right foot. It's well tackled, though, by Greg. Handball back to uh, Henshaw. A great pressure football, though, and we see a boundary throw in about to take place because of the pressure that was applied by both sides. 39 to 35. Four points to margin. Throw in to take place on Collingwood's half-forward line. Dempsey and Alan Edwards. Russell for position, the taller Dempsey wins out on this occasion. It's taken by Henshaw. His kick back towards centre wing. Malcolm Blight up high in the middle of the pack. Couldn't take the mark. Craig Davis's quick kick back. Alan Edwards a diving attempt to mark. Pulls after it. Taps it wide to his captain in Ray Shaw. Shaw from the half forward flank. Puts a long kick up towards the forward line. Glenn Denning in the front position. It's off the hands of the pack. Through for one point for Collingwood. So the margin now only three points as Collingwood go to 5 6 36. Trailing North Melbourne, 5-9-39. Three minutes gone of the last quarter. The ball back into play by Sutton. In comes Simmerboy. She's played a great game out there on that wing position. A good mark at half back. North Melbourne uh, skipper settling things down at the moment. Barassi smoking a cigar. He thinks he's got the game won, I suppose. Celebrating already out there towards Moore. Couldn't hold the mark. Moore takes it away for his opponent, Brightus, as the ball goes back there towards centre half back. Glenn Denning in front. Off the top of the pack again. The ball tapped on by Smith. Out there to Huppert. It's a bit of fancy work as he gets around them that time and drives the ball back towards centre-half forward. Morris was grabbed. The umpire spotted Tanner that time. A good decision. Very good decision by Robinson. Hey, golly, he's been a good player tonight too. Morris, uh, Bob. Has played well, Lou. Has hardly made a mistake. Morris with the ball at centre-half back. Gets around uh, Tanner very easily. Boots the ball back there towards Collingwood. Centre-half forward position. There's Keith Gregg. Umpire call play on this is a break for Collingwood. Should have been a mark, I reckon. Hanabry running to an open goal. Fires. Oh, it's a mark. Mark the Toomey, I'd say. He's got it right in the goal square. And a goal. What a beauty. The make plays have hit the front. And listen to that crowd game was there. Well, Lou, uh, Daryl Sutton has hardly made a, mis made a mistake all night. That's one of his rare mistakes. He's uh, still sitting in the... Uh, no, it's not him that's sitting in the goal square. Sutton's come out, but the one mistake that uh, uh, he's made all night was not going for the punch from behind uh, Toomey there. He has held uh, him, uh, his opponent uh, to absolutely... Well, not, not a kick Brewer had had for three quarters. Five minutes gone, and now the Magpies have hit the front by three points. 6-6-42 six, six, to North Melbourne, 5-9-39. What a grand final for the 1980 Escort Cup.
Dempsey's tap taken there by Tanner, put up towards centre half forward, knocked on by Brightus. He goes after it again, but he's beaten for it by his opposite number in McCormack. McCormick has a turn of speed. It's tapped away from McCormick by Jarrett. Great tackle. Dacos throws the ball out in front of him. Goes on again. Little Ray Shaw dives in under the pack. Gets a push in the back. And Ray Shaw will take the free kick right in the centre of the ground. Shaw plays on straight away. Out to Ray Byrne on the centre wing. Byrne plays on from the point of the centre square. His kick off the side of the boot a little bit. Kick in position to Mark. It comes down to Edwards. Edwards copped the push in the back from William out. It's that back down with kick. It's tapped out of his hands. Kicked off the ground by Ramsey. Comes out now to Jarrett. He gives a hand pass over the top. Ray Shaw intercepts the long hand pass towards William out in the forward pocket. He can't get there before it's tapped over the boundary line by Sutton. So we'll see a boundary throw in take place. 10 metres around from the behind post in the forward pocket for Collingwood. 39 to 42. Three points to the margin. We're six minutes into the final term of the Escort Championship. Tap down to Smith. Smith the left foot kick back towards half-back flank. A great effort to mark. It's called play on as Wilson gets a hand pass out towards Darrell Schimmelbush. It's knocked away from him by Byrne, but Schimmelbush butters up and goes after it again. Keeps the ball just in play. Drives it up towards centre wing where we see Tanner come across. Tanner misses the mark. It's left for him by Brightus. Tanner drawing the player up. Gives a hand pass across to McCann. McCann loses it. Taken by Stewart at Collingwood. He puts it back towards the centre of the ground. Kick and Hick come down. Hick punches the ball back towards the half-forward line. Racing forward as Blight. But more uh, missed by the, by the number 14. It was Morris of Collingwood. And Blight couldn't win possession of the ball. It's tapped now. With the Morris goes in again with his opposite number Bond until the umpire says that, says that nobody can get the ball clear and we'll have a centre bounce 70 metres out from the North Melbourne goal. Seven minutes gone of this last quarter. Collingwood in front by three points. On Collingwood's uh, half back line. Jarrett with a hand pass. Out the bright as he's hardly touched the ball. He goes down, he gets up quickly. Finally, he spins into trouble. He's grabbed and nearly dropped it. Umpire still giving plenty of latitude out there. They're throwing themselves into this game. And no wonder it's worth $64,000 as Dacos takes a free kick for being grabbed on the ankle that time. Dacos with the ball down there in the back pocket position. Boots it back towards centre field. It falls a bit short. Edwards at the back of the pack. Couldn't hold the mark. Henry tried to kick it off. Three North Melbourne players battling for the ball amongst themselves. The umpires found a free kick. It'll go to Glenn Denning and the crowd give ironical cheers. With them. Ball down there towards the full forward. McCann gets over the top of the pack. Jarrett trying to crash through. It's a free kick against... Uh, or is it a baller? Tanner, that's uh, Wilson tried to get through that time, but the umpire said he had no hope of getting rid of it. It'll be a ball up about 35 metres out from the North Melbourne goal. Knocked out by Moore. Little Huppets gets a hurried kick. It was a fresh US shot. Picked up by Magro. A high kick back towards the wing position. Players set themselves. The ball pushed down. The umpires found a free kick. It'll go to uh, Gary Dempsey for interference. Dempsey goes for a short pass. It's OK. It finds Smith there at half forward. A good uh, 55 metres out from goal. Smith goes across towards centre half fourth. The two Collingwood players there nearly spoil each other, but a good mark to Stewart. A hand pass over to Moore on his own. He'll go for a run, I should imagine. The big ruckman coming around that wing position. A long hand pass out there towards Byrne. It bounces right. Darrell Simmelbush on the ground. Uh, Wilson off the ground for making that mistake. A good hand pass over to Byrne. A running shot up there towards uh, Toomey. He's got it again, Toomey. He could be the match winner, this guy. And what a name it is at Collingwood. Toomey. And by golly, the Toomeys have won plenty of games at Collingwood over the years. There's Ron Barassi. He'd want to win this one because the Magpies have knocked North Melbourne off three times. This, uh, well, three times the last time they've met. Running on the uh, shot from uh, young Toomey. Fires. One point. A oh, sigh of relief from the North Melbourne supporters. 6-7-43 Collingwood to North Melbourne. 5-9-39. Nine minutes gone of this last quarter and it's anybody's game and this has been one of the best night football grand finals we've seen for many years running on the uh, ball to come back into play Sutton bringing it in the defence now really on top of uh, well the defence really under pressure for North Melbourne he wouldn't want to take any chances and go for a mark at the moment out it goes while it's a long kick picked up by Herbert on the boundary line goes for a short pass umpire said it's out of bounds it'll be a penalty free kick down there to Bond a little short of the back pocket position. The former Collingwood Grover, Shane Bond. Not certain which way to go. Have to go for the long kick. It's a wobbly looking kick from Bond. 
Moore was up in front. Dempsey from behind. Punches the ball over the boundary line. So we'll see a throw-in take place. Half forward flank for Collingwood. 50,478 people here tonight. And the gate takes $62,897. What a game and what a crowd, bub. Absolutely magnificent, Lou, and uh, a perfect night, and the, the players certainly haven't let the crowd down. As we see, Schimmelbush has kicked smothered off the boot. It goes close to the boundary line. Ray Shaw hooks the ball over the shoulder, but it, he's, he's gone over the boundary line just before he, Tony Shaw it was, and just before he actually got boot to ball, Tom Hafey having a word on the phone, and it's Dempsey and Moore. Moore in the front position, beaten by Dempsey on this occasion. The, the big knock goes towards Shane Bond. He's beaten to the ball by Ray Shaw, who shows complete desperation to dive in underneath, and as a result, he's tackled too high and get the free kick on centre wing. Shaw, the Collingwood skipper. Lovely kick from Shaw over the half-forward line. Via mark to Glenn Denning, and Ross Glenn Denning thought about the handball. So from close to the back pocket, drives it towards centre wing and Bridus. A great mark by Brightus, now having a McCormack on him because uh, his previous opponent, Andrew Ireland, was shifted to, onto Kerry Good after Good had been beating McCormack. In front, Kevin Morris once again, and Morris, who's been a fine player right throughout the night for Collingwood across that half-back line, had far the better of Xavier Tanner, and Kevin Morris now will drive the ball out of the defensive zone for Collingwood. 12 minutes gone, Collingwood still in front by four points, Edwards flies over the pack, Ramsey tries to burst through, finally gets the ball over to Smith, the ball shot across towards centre half forward, there's a chance now for North Melbourne to get the ball that time through, Jarrett back to Greg, back to Garrett again, in a bit of trouble but breaks clear, goes for pass, Magro at the back couldn't hold the mark, he recovers pretty well, the ball pushed to the ground again, Magro won't give up and the umpire said play on, it's thrown away out there towards Weirmouth, Taps it over nicely, it bounces right and he streaks away. Look at Graham out go. Greg's right on his tail, he goes for hand pass. Back to Shaw. He turns back onto his right boot at centre half forward. Boots it down there towards Toomey again. They fly, kick at the back. Off the top of the pack, finally picked up by Glenn Denning down there on the boundary line. Goes for the boundary and the ball will be out of bounds. Well played by Glenn Denning that time. It's out of bounds about uh, 60 metres around from the Collingwood goal. We're at the 13 minute mark and the Magpies in front by four points. Can they hang on? Waiting for the ball to come back into play. Edwards and Dempsey. Dempsey got another tap out. Finally pushed out the Huppets there from Smith. Smith slipping pretty badly too. The ball shot back there and a good mark to McCann out there on the centre wing position. They wanted him to take that mark before it's centre half forward. He dropped. Ball shot across now towards the half forward line. Jarrett goes for the punch. Good play by Jarrett as it comes across here now. Magro playing in front. The umpire sets a free kick against uh, Magro. He grabbed Bond when he didn't have the ball. Well uh, spotted by the umpire. Ireland goes for the punch. Bridus tries to pick it up, but it beats him the bounce. Now he's got it. He's in trouble. He's grabbed. He drops it. My God, that was well tackled by little Tony Shaw. The Collingwood uh, little men are certainly going in pretty hard at the moment. Talk about desperation football on both these sides. Ball out there. Uh, Wilson ready to come back on the ground. Out it goes there. To, uh, Glenn Denning goes for the punch back there towards Hanabry. Gets away from Schimmelbush on his left boot. That's good play. It bounces wrong from out there towards the wing position. Finally goes for a kick over half forward up to Kink and Nick Dempsey's in the front passage off the top of the pack again. Chance for Sutton. He's grabbed. He's pulled to the ground. What's the umpire say? Holding the ball and the free kick will go to Toomey and he'd be about, let's see, about 50 metres out. Maybe not quite 50 metres and young Toomey's kicked one goal already. A goal here will put the Magpies 10 points in front. Taking his time, he knows the importance of this kick. Of course, there's 16,000 difference between the uh, losing side and the winning team here tonight. The shot there towards the goals doesn't quite make the distance. Punch to the ground again. There's a chance for Tony Shaw. He balks, he slips over. A hand pass coming back to Davis. A left foot snap for goal, but he's off target and through for one point. So it's five points the difference now. Five goals, 9.39 North Melbourne to Collingwood, 6 8, 44 at the 15 minute mark of this last quarter. Approximately halfway through the quarter, five points the margin as Sutton goes for the short pass, finds Tanner in the back pocket. Still just as far from the North Melbourne goal, but Xavier Tanner now, favouring the drop punt, up towards half back, knocked on by it, but it goes to Ray Shaw. Shaw now with a left foot kick across towards the centre of the goals, but a lovely mark by Ross Glenn Denning. Cool play on though by the umpire. Free, and a free kick. kick goes the way of Collingwood. Well, I thought that it would have been a mark to 
Ross Glendening. We're what's on replay now as Glendening brings the ball down. He did uh, juggle it a couple of times. And Glendening, uh, not Glendening, but Henshaw right over the shoulder there. And we see Henshaw limping away now. He's had a knee injury earlier in the, uh, the season. It's in a bit of pain at the moment, but Alan Edwards the opportunity of putting Collingwood 11 points in front. Edwards going for goal number one. North Melbourne trainer signalling for the, for the doctor as Edwards makes no mistake about that one. Well, that makes a difference of 11 points for the Magpies now. I don't know whether it's enough to win the game, but that certainly proves one point, Bob. That is the scoring in. I think Ross Glendening, uh, I just noticed him with his hand on his head as if to say, well, OK, the mark wasn't paid, but nonetheless, I should have taken the mark. I was the only one who touched the ball, and uh, they're the ones that either win or lose matches of football. That's right, and uh, I think the umpires had a lot of courage to give the, the free kick at that position, Bob. Henshaw has hobbled from one end of the ground to the other, uh, going from defence up to half forward. 11 points the margin now in favour of Collingwood. North Melbourne desperately trying to get the ball back. And as you said, Lou, it's the Collingwood Little Men who went out of the game in the third term have come right back. Seventeen minutes gone of this last quarter. Collingwood in front by 11 points. 7 8 50 to North Melbourne. 5 9 39. Can the Kangaroos come back? Boundary throw in, half forward flank for North Melbourne. McCann and Moore competing. Neither player a knock. Smith of North Melbourne tried to almost did actually did kick the ball through the legs of William out. Craig Davis collides with the pick and missed by Smith. He throws the ball almost back to Bond. Bond a hand pass back to Blight. Blight runs through now, half forward. He can line up and kick the distance. It's a great shot by Blight. And North Melbourne back in business with a goal by Malcolm Blight. Malcolm Blight getting his second goal to take North Melbourne to 6 9 45. Only five points again with Collingwood. 7 8 50 and a good piece of football there by the whole North Melbourne side. We watch on video replay as we see the collision between Pickett and, uh, and Davis. North Melbourne Smith gets it back to Bond across the Blight. And this is the Malcolm Blight that we know as he runs around a couple of opponents and then puts it through. A great goal to take the scoreboard to 6 9, 45 points North Melbourne, 7 8, 50 points Collingwood. Only five points the difference. There we see Tanner trying to take it away from the pack. He's grabbed at the umpire call player, Malcolm Blight again. Down towards centre half forward. Magro coming through like a steam train that time. Finally grabbed. He still pushes the ball. Intercepted by McCann, but Magro's still there. He won't give up, Magro. And uh, Brightus has grabbed at the umpire's found a free kick. It'll go uh, a ball up. A ball up out there towards North Melbourne's half forward line on the edge of the square. Peter Moore taps it down as Tony Shaw gets a hurried kick out wide. Out it comes to Davis now, bounces right for him. Boots the ball back towards Collingwood's half-forward line. It's out wide and just about go out of bounds. Yes, out of bounds. This time it's on the Magpie half-forward line, about 70 metres around from their goal. 19 minutes gone and Collingwood hanging on by a five-point lead. It'll be Dempsey and Edwards again. Dempsey gets the tap down of Bond. He actually threw that away. Picked up by Davis again. The ball shot up towards the full forward zone. Up the toe, he's only got that one turn running, running to an open goal. This looks dangerous. He fires. What's he done with it? Got a free kick, has he? Or what is it? Dropping the ball. Let's see what, it's, what it is. It's a free kick to Dempsey or to Glenn Denning, I think. Must be. It must have been against Ray Shaw for Shepherding. It Luke. could have been there, and uh, Shaw was going took at the umpire, so the score is still five points the difference. Listen to that Collingwood crowd. There's about 40,000 out of the 50,000 here at the moment. Ball out towards that uh, half-forward line. Finally picked up by Henry. Drops the ball. Umpire said holding the ball against him. Jarrett with a free kick. Out to Tanner. Sidesteps. He's going to get grabbed. He's down. Dropping the ball again. Both sides making mistakes. We see the free kick going out there to Dacos. Dacos out there on the centre wing position. A long kick over centre half-forward. Up they go. Edwards claiming the mark. Now the umpire call play on over to Henshaw. Seems to be recovered now. Out it goes to Byrne. Byrne and uh, Shimabush going for this one. And what a battle this has been all night. Out to Brightus. He goes down. McCormack's there. Picks it up. Runs into a bit of trouble here. A hand pass out to Ronnie Weirmouth. It bounces beautifully for him. Better kick it. 
He fires towards the goals. Toomey in front, off the top of his hands, and through for one point. So it's a goal, the difference now. Now it's four points, the difference. Now it's a goal. I'm not getting rattled myself. We'd like to welcome all our Sydney viewers watching this match because it's a sensational game. Only a goal, the difference. Out there to uh, Jarrett, taking the mark at half-back. Collingwood in front by six points. And we're at the 20-minute uh, mark. About seven or eight minutes to go. The ball out wide. And there's Magro crashing through the pack. A short pass out there to Herbert on his own. Herbert with a long kick up there towards the full forward position. At four. Kink's got it! It's about the only touch he's had. He's got the mark. Rene Kink. Like, well, if he kicks this goal, they wouldn't even live on that for three weeks now. Waiting on Rene Kink from about, uh, let's see, no more than about uh, 30 metres out. It wouldn't be 30 metres out. Now the pressure's on the incredible half as he's ready to fire. One point, so it's seven points the difference in favour of Collingwood. Se seven goals, 10-52 Collingwood to North Melbourne, 6-9-45 at the 21 and a half minute mark of this last quarter. A point almost as good as a goal at this stage because it's at the right end of the, the, of the ground for Collingwood. As we see Alan Edwards take a great mark and Edwards will put the ball right back into the goal square for Collingwood. An opportunity of maybe a quick snap, a kick off the ground, anything you like. Edwards using the drop punt right to the goal line. Dempsey in the front position, a beautiful mark by Gary Dempsey. Dempsey naturally wanted to get the ball moving in a hurry, but there's not much for him to kick to. He goes to the outer side of the ground, looking there for Schimmelbush. It's Schimmelbush and Byrne. Byrne leads to the, in the race of the ball. It's Schimmelbush over the shoulder, gets it away from Byrne. A hand pass back, intercepted by Ray Shaw. Shaw straightens up, puts a long kick down towards the goal line. A good piece of shepherding by Dempsey. It's up the hands of Sutton towards Dempsey. Taken by Tanner. Tanner puts a left foot kick up towards the back pocket, and Keith Gregg comes right down from the wing to take the mark. Greg now in the back pocket for North Melbourne. The long kick, almost to centre wing, where it's Kevin Morris there, beaten for it as it's tapped on by Wilson, but Morris gets there first after the recovery. Balks around, one way then the other, then slips over, but taps the ball wide towards Grenade Kink. Kink throws the ball over the top. It goes to Wilson of North Melbourne. He gets a long hand pass towards Malcolm Blight from centre wing now. Malcolm Blight touches the ball on the ground once. The left foot of Blight will be screwed towards centre half forward. No mark taken as it's over the back of the pack. Knocked back by Andrew Island. Peter Moore coming in for Collingwood. He's tackled well strongly, but Magro comes in. Takes the ball away from defence with the Collingwood side. Magro's kicked towards centre wing. Dacos in the front position. Has the ball tapped away, but a free kick has gone against Collingwood for hanging on and will be against Alan Edwards and Russ Glendening will take the kick on centre wing. Glenn Denning now. Out it goes wide, a chance for Malcolm Blight. He's now he dropped that mark. It bounces back towards Morris. Good play. He's played a great game down there. Picked up by Pick and the ball back towards Edwards and Glenn Denning. Glenn Denning with a superlative mark there on that uh, centre wing position. Seven points the difference in favour of Collingwood as uh, Greg drives the ball up there towards the full forward position. The pack fly. Punched away again by McCormack. Coming back there towards Huffett and Dempsey. Dempsey's got a hand pass to Jarrett. He's grabbed. And the ball coming back out there towards Morris again. He's got the ball and he'll take it away from the danger zone. Over to Billy Pickin. Another long hand pass out and Herbert's got the ball. Collingwood still seven points in front as the ball goes out towards Kink and Ick. Punched on by uh, Kink down there towards the forward pocket. Sutton wins the race to the ball. He tries to get away from uh, Toomey. He's away. He goes for left foot kick around towards the wing position. And flying high as Henshaw, a great mark. North Melbourne not giving up without a fight as the ball goes across to Dempsey at centre field. A hand pass coming over there to uh, Huppert, Huppert's it is. He goes to kick it off the ground, missed with his left foot, got it with his right. A, a hand pass from Wilson back to Henshaw. He gets a touch of the stumbles back to Dempsey. Up there towards the full forward zone, but a mark taken here again in defence by Davis. And Collingwood still seven points in front at the 24 and a half minute mark. There's Morris down on the ground. I don't want to lose him now because he's been a real star. The ball out wide to Moore on his own. He's got a paddock to run in here. A long hand pass over there to uh, Byrne out there on the wing position. Going for a bit of a run. A long kick over centre half forward. Edwards and Glenn Denning going for this one. Glenn Denning with a great mark playing a great game at centre half back. A magnificent player. Hand pulls across to Ramsey. Ramsey gives it the week. Back now from Ick to, to Jarrett to Ramsey again. Ramsey's kick up towards half forward. Three North Melbourne players there. It's left from Malcolm Blight. Blake going for the long kick. It's crossed towards centre half forward. Brightus up from behind. Couldn't take the mark. It's three Collingwood players there as Magro gives it across to Craig Davis. Davis from the back pocket up towards the half back flank. Moore coming across and Peter Moore takes a great mark. 
He plays on straight away. The long kick from Moore gets it right out of the danger zone. It's up towards half forward. Glenn Denning leaning Edwards in the race for the ball. Comes back onto the left foot. Goes for the short pass across the ground to Ramsey. Ramsey will give a hand pass across to Henshaw. Back to Ramsey again. Ramsey's forced to go straight across the ground. He's looking for Keith Gregg. Gregg comes down. Gathers the ball in well. Looks for the hand pass, but now straightens up and drives the ball towards centre half forward. In front is McCormack. He's up high in the air, but he's beaten for it by Brightest. Call play on by the umpire, but the free kick has gone the way of Brightest with a tackle being too high. Arnold Brightest plays on straight away, gives it to Jarrett. Jarrett now, the long kick down towards the goal line. McCann up from behind. The Collingwood defence again go to the punch and put it wide to Peter Moore. Moore in the ten of wrestling. It goes over the boundary line, so we'll see a throwing take place in the forward pocket for North Melbourne. 52 points Collingwood. 45 points North Melbourne, 7 points the margin, 26 and a half minutes have gone of the Escort Championship. Ball back into play up there to watch the full forward position. Magro comes across, couldn't hold the mark. Play, fires, it's a goal! A goal! That's goal number three. What a game this has turned out to be. Three points the difference, isn't it? Or two points the difference, one point. Oh, golly, what a game, bud. Oh, what, what more could you ask for in, in a grand final, Lou? 16 shots to 17. How how more even can you be when then with a game like this? It's an absolutely magnificent game of football. The Escort Championship scoreboard: North Melbourne 7951, a one-point margin to Collingwood 71052. On the video replay now, we see it again as Malcolm Blight snaps it up, puts it through to put the difference one point. And it's Dempsey getting the knock, and as Collingwood try to get the ball clear through Dacos, he's clear, the ball back towards Collingwood's half forward line, time running out. The ball punched out again, over Glenn Denning's head, a chance for Edwards now. He'll have a snap towards the goals, Toomey and Sutton going for the ball. Punched away by Sutton, it's going towards the point post, and it's through for one point, so the make plays are two points in front, approaching the 28-minute mark. Once again, Lou, almost worth a goal. See the ball coming back now, and a play by Sutton, running around his opponent, Toomey goes for a long kick up there towards the set of the ground, Dempsey at the back, they're all flying, that's a beautiful mark. There to Wilson, he's quickly playing on over to Henshaw, now North Melbourne to attack. Will the siren go as it goes out there towards Glenning? Den Denning playing on the forward line. They're trying to give a bit of strength down there. Out it goes again to the wing position. And finally, Byrne gets a hurried kick back towards the centre of the ground. Oh, we lost sight of that time, Henshaw. Edwards is there. Finally, still taking the ball on back towards Dempsey again. Then goes Henry, kicks it off the ground. A child only a push in the back. Pushing the back to Herbert. This may be all Collingwood knee. Two points in front. Just on the 29-minute mark. Time running out for North Melbourne as the ball is booted up there by Davis. Toomey and Sutton go for the ball. Over their heads. There's Shaw coming in a snap for goal. One point. So it's three points the difference now. 29 minutes gone. Rain starting to pelt down at the moment. This could be the saviour for the Magpies. It shouldn't be a very long quarter because it's, uh, it's been a pretty low scoring one. Barassi on the phone. Ball back into play again. Uh, we see Tanner drop the mark, but the umpire's paid the free kick. I don't know how much longer this quarter will go as we see Tanner there at centre-half back, driving the ball out there towards Malcolm Blake. He's got the mark. He's clear. He boots it well up towards the full fourth position. There's Good with the mark. Good's got the mark. He's well within kicking distance. The siren's gone, Lou. The umpires haven't been able to hear it, but I'm the sure the siren has gone. gone. The siren's gone. The crowd coming onto the ground now. Good kicks this goal. They've won the match. Oh, what a climax of this 1980 uh, Escort Cup Grand Final. Good's already kicked three goals. He's only about uh, 25 to 30 metres out, dead in front. He kicks this, they've won the game. He's put it through, and North Melbourne are premiers. North Melbourne have won the match. What a game. I don't think I've ever seen anything like it in my life. What a magnificent piece of uh, play on the part of North Melbourne to come back like they did. The final scores. North Melbourne winning the Escort Cup for 1980, the grand final. We'll see that replay again of that mark. And Malcolm Blight got it out there beautifully. There it is. There's the kick well down there as Malcolm Blight takes the mark there at centre field. Malcolm Blight back to his best. And we see Good get that one on the chest. A beautiful lead. And, of course, we know the result. Lou, there is no doubt in my mind that the siren had gone well before... Uh, the, the ball had been kicked, but it's, the game does not finish until the umpire hears it. 
and, it, and uh, the siren tonight was nowhere near as loud as it normally is. But there's the final score in the Escort Championships. North Melbourne, 8-9-57, a three-point margin over Collingwood, 7-12-54, and that's Kerry Good, who kicked four goals and the vital goal being carried off the ground. We'll take these messages and be back from comment, or more comment, uh, in just a few moments. Yeah. Where was it gone back here? Well, there's two of them out there. What's his name, that bloke? Uh, what's the chairman of the... Uh, Alf, what's the bloke, the president of the uh, manager? Ken, what's his... That's good, yeah. good timing. All right. Well, so let's go down to the president of the, uh, of the, uh, of the Australian uh, Championships, Dr. Aylott, isn't it? It's the president of the Australian Championships. Yeah. Oh, we'll let it let it go, I reckon. Well, they won it after the game after the game, uh, North Melbourne. National football, is it? No, it's going to change that call, is it? Oh, in Glen Denny or Morris? Oh, I don't care. I'd go Glen Denny. I'd go Morris. But not, of course, an argument. I think Glen Denny's won one, isn't he? I hope it sounded all right, did it? You'd be happy with it tonight, brother, wouldn't you? Final scores in the Escort uh, Cup Grand Final of 1980. We see North Melbourne, the victors, by three points. Eight goals, 9.57 to Collingwood, 7.12.54. And there was no doubt about it. Uh, the siren had sounded, uh, I think, long before Good had taken the mark. But uh, the rules of the game is that uh, the umpire must hear the siren before he ends the match. And uh, uh, there's no doubt the two umpires didn't hear the siren. Or the umpire that was in charge down there and of North Melbourne have won the uh, trophy. And there's the coach, Ron Barassi. Crowd not too happy about it. There's the majority of the Collingwood supporters. Uh, Dr. Aylott now, down there, the president of the Australian Championships, is ready to make the presentation. So it's over to Dr. Aylott now. Ladies and gentlemen. What a night. What a game. A winner for Australian football, if ever there was one. On behalf of Australian Football Championships, I would like to thank you, the public, for the support that you have given this series. You, the 50,000 people who came to VFL Park to watch this magnificent performance by both sides. And secondly, you people out there watching all over Australia on television. Once again, on behalf of Australian Football Championships, I would like to thank WD and HO Wills, the sponsor of our company and this series. It has been with their support that we've, been mani that we've managed to turn in such a wonderful production over a period of three or four months. And on their behalf also, I would like 
to congratulate both teams for getting to the grand final and not only doing that, but the magnificent way in which they played the game, the magnificent spirit. I would like to congratulate the Australian football champions, the Escort Cup winners for 1980, North Melbourne. And I'd like to call on the captain, Wayne Schimmelbush, to receive the Escort Cup. I have with me on the stand the managing director of WD and HO Wills, Mr. Dean Wills, and it gives me a great deal of pleasure now to present the Escort Cup for season 1980 to North Melbourne's captain, Mr. Wayne Schimmelbush. on behalf of the North Melbourne Football Club and in fact all league clubs I'd also like to express my thanks for the support that we get from uh, WD and HO Wills. I'd also like to uh, congratulate Collingwood tonight. They were a fantastic opponent and did a great job. And last I'd like to say to my own players that if we show the same sort of team spirit and endeavour to the remaining of this year will be hard to beat in the big one. Thank you. Well, there's uh, Wayne Simmelbush and no doubt the North Melbourne players very happy after winning that uh, 1980 Escort Cup Grand Final. Of course, I think the $64,000 would make a difference too. Apparently, uh, the result for both uh, teams would be that the players would share half the prize money for going away chips. And uh, Bob, I've uh, been to a lot of matches and I reckon that had just as much excitement as any game we've ever seen in our lives. 50-odd thousand people here, and uh, not, uh, not one person let down. And uh, it was just unbelievable, and uh, the crowd were on their toes, and I just thought that Collingwood had the game won, and we saw Blight get the ball down a good, uh, magnificent pass, and a beautiful lead from Good, and of course he kicked the goal, but there was no doubt Bob, I think, uh, mentioned that uh, we've seen an action now. You watch the lead by uh, Ter uh, Good, a beautiful lead, and of course he kicked the goal, but the siren had gone, I think, uh, well as before, Malcolm well Blight be did. Well before Blight had kicked the ball, Lou, but I'm sure that the siren did not sound anywhere near as loud as it normally does. Whether or not it didn't work quite as well, <laughs> uh, it was very, very hard to hear, and that was the reason... To, well, that mistake cost $16,000 <laughs> to Collingwood. You're right, Lou, because that was the reason that there was a, a few people, uh, you know, hooting as it was going on. There were some great players on both sides. Kevin Morris was an absolutely great player for Collingwood. Magro in the back pocket for North Melbourne. I thought that uh, Glenn Denning, Ick did a mag magnificent job against Renee Kink. Ramsey in the back pocket. But uh, all in all, very good players on both sides. Well, talking about best players, Bob, in tonight's game, the best player receives the 14-inch Canberra Thorn the colour television set. Beautiful prize. And the most outstanding... Uh, game of the series will win a magnificent Mazda 626 from Neil Nielsen of Ferntree Gully where the highways meet the hills and that's certainly winning that uh, these uh, boats are awarded by our commentators and uh, I think one uh, football uh, writer and a member of the Australian Championship so we'll take these messages and be back in a few moments for more comments from Bob Skilton.